Good morning, everyone. How are you? Ooh, sorry, my brain's on and on slow today. Hi, a potion. How are you? I do a CDEP today. 
Wah ha ha. I bigger. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Mm, CPEP. CPEP. I feel a little too big now. There you go. Sounds like a happy medium. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, I shrink again. Lama. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's Amaran. Everything's everything's bigger in Amar. Wait. Okay, there you go. Everything's bigger in Amarat, right? It's 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 fine. Don't worry about it, right? Apparently I'm not projecting my voice as loud as normal because I'm EP. Hold on. Just move my mic a little closer. <laughs> Tiny bit closer. Uh today we will be finishing up the the Labyrinthos route. Um, in FF14, I was on the last quest before we ended last time. Uh, well, last time I did, I was cute, but yeah. Um. <sighs> and then we'll be starting the hangout session with the boys. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Street Mad Moments. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Um. Also, I did a thing, so you guys will see that a bit later and hope you like it it's nothing intense or extreme or anything i just yeah i hope it looks as well put together as i think it does <laughs> wait did i yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay 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 mm. Ooh. Wait, wait wait that's the wrong thing I'm not messing things up. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, everything's better. <laughs> I did it. You saw nothing. <laughs> um. Anyway. Listen, it's, it's it's um it's fine. My character looks very dark. I look forward to when they fix the lighting thing, like lighting problems and um, on trail. I'm gonna make my bum boy look better. I mean, oh, I'm cold. Anyway, um, the the no, no, this does not help the EP. I at the last minute before starting stream, I was like, maybe I should change what I'm streaming today. And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But I'm so sleepy that this might get me. But it's okay. No, 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 no. It's okay, cause I'm I'm going to I'm going to Thaffner today, so it's it's uh it's, it's fine. Probably. If I pass out, you know what happened to me, though. You will be the informant for everyone else. They'll be like, "Why ain't she moving? Did she die?" And you'll be like, "Yes. The coffin has consumed her." Yeah, that with the boys. That'll wake me right up. Hopefully. That or I'll suspiciously be tired for other reasons. Hmm. Who knows? Travel does that to you. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> uh, hold on, my brain paused. I'm good. I'm good, I swear. My brain just kind of looked over them when I need to talk to them. Who? Pause. Eh? Where am I? Thank <laughs> <Minecraft. laughs> Let's see if I can manage my voices today. I have not tuned my voice at all today, so this should be fun. You may encounter some raised eyebrows, but do continue to claim the students as your sponsor whensoever the need arises. I believe the guiding principles of the sci- er, sorry. I believe in the guiding principles of the scions, and I know my grandfather would have swell. He yeah, would have as well. My father may be right. But I am still groping in the dark for answers, but I needed him to know that I would never stop searching. I owed that much to Aaronvold, and myself. I think I read these last time, didn't I? We shall have to think caref- uh, We shall have to think very carefully about how we are to proceed from here. 
like how these voices, I'm just like, boom, here they are. The boys, I'm gonna be like, struggling. Because it's deep voice gain over there, minus Stankrid. Stankrid's got a higher voice in comparison to the other two, but you know. Well, his voice is like moderate depth, but like he uses confusion with his old English. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Lower pitches are hard for me. I apologize for the trouble I've caused you. I was pondering the significance of what I had just read as I'd left the restricted section and knocked over the security moment on my way out. I promise to be more vigilant next time. Next time you sneak into a restricted library? Okay. Chris, <laughs> Wait, what's content? Wait, what, what, what did I do? Hi, Ali. State visitor. Ali say has a look of dissatisfaction. Oh. Oh, okay. CP voice acting on that. Yeah? Yeah. The overall picture has grown clearer, yes. But that's in spite of the forum being so maddenly vague about its duty of theirs. Why are they so reluctant to explain their actions in plain words? Survival, come what may. His father's work so vital that it takes precedence over his own family. Alphano? Alize? It is you! I think that's where they get it. Okay. Mama! When I heard you'd been dragged before the forum, I came as swiftly as I could. I'm so very glad they allowed you to stay. M mother <laughs> it's the mama. <laughs> A million Slivio, at your service. And you fine people must be the scions of the seventh dawn. How lovely it is to finally meet you. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're just like, how do you know it's us? Hold on, what? Mother, please, we don't wish to make things difficult for you. If word reaches father that you were here. Oh, bother that. Am I to be chastised for speaking with my own children? I am well aware that you and Master Fulchanal are not on the best of terms at the moment, but I've been absolutely desperate to see my darlings again. Mother, mother, I crave violence and raccoons. You will come by the house, won't you? I have gifts waiting. The timing couldn't be better. <clears throat> As matters stand, we shan't be going anywhere until we discuss matters with Thancred's group and reconsider our options. Go. Visit your home. We will be back at the Annex when you are ready to rejoin us. I'm not sure we... <sighs> what do you think? It's you! What a splendid day this has turned out to be! Champion of Eorzea, I insist that you join us! <laughs> Meanwhile, my character's like, uh huh? Okay. Um. <laughs> I mean, the answer's wonderful. I love her. <clears throat> uh, brain click. Ah, uh, but we must be quick about it. Not for my own benefit, but should my husband return and find you enjoying uh, in uh, and find you enjoying our hospitality, the servants will be made to suffer the consequences. Hey, dog. If you would be so kind as to escort my children to the estate. <laughs> and then she was gone, and with her any opportunity to protest. Indeed, the matter is settled. Enjoy yourselves, you three. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Dad can't see you having fun. That's a no. Then other people get in trouble for no good reason. <sighs> I'm sure Alfredo thinks nothing of it. He invited classmates over all the time, but I, well, I wasn't the most... It was a different time for me, all right? <laughs> I apologize. My mother is not one to take no for an answer. Still, I am glad, relieved even, to see her in such high spirits. What say you? Though it seems we shall have little enough time to enjoy it, will you accompany me, uh, accompany us on our visit home? Of course. Let us give Alize a push, then, and be on our way. Fine, if we're going, then let's get it over with. But be sure to stay in the entrance hall. No peeking into our private chambers, thank you very much. Why ever not? Your room is... Ev your room was always perfectly neat and tidy. Everyone has things they'd rather keep to themselves, don't they? Cherished mementos you couldn't bring yourself to throw away. Childhood, cho childhood toys... Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean... Uh Oh, never mind. The Levier estate is that way, straight down the stairs. Come on. Alf <laughs> he shrugs. He's like, okay, I'll say. After going out, he's going to accompany you. Keep them at your side in order to perceive a cluster projector. <laughs> Alfredo is going to Gremlin noise is heard. Hello, Nostril. How are you today? <laughs> 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 you got sleepy gremlin noises. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the Levior Estate is in the northern part of Journey's End, just down the the stairs from the Rostra. Oh my god, I can talk. Oh, and please don't make a fuss when we get there. It's only a house. Right, not a mansion. Right, right. After all we've been through together, it is strange to be here with you now. You come full circle and see how much has changed. Mm, that's fair. Um, upstairs. Here they are. Meanwhile, they're running to keep up with me. It's true, yeah. <sighs> to sweepy, eepy, boy, four. I like how this one's just a square to match the bridge. Most of them are circles. Almost all of them are circles, but this one's a square. It had to be different. Discuss the view from the bridge. When Alize and I were little, this bridge was as far as we were permitted to wander alone. I say alone, but my mother or a servant was always somewhere nearby, keeping a watchful eye. And now look at us, travelling to different continents, different worlds even. Why am I doing his voice so weird for how I usually do it? Why you call it? Who should we be EP by four? As children, Alfin <clears throat> Alfno and I would often wait here for our father to come home from work. It must have been a day when his meetings ran long because I remember growing restless and leaning out over the railing to watch the water rush by. Father, of course, arrived at that exact moment, came pounding down the path in a panic, crying out my name. Hmm. I sense some kindness in the father. Okay, I'll play this for more than one day. Do it. Do it. Join the dark side. No, it's more like the light side. The warrior of light side. And eventually the warrior of darkness. So I guess both. The answer is both. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, story very good. <sighs> yeah, ARR AR starts a little slow. But it's a build-up, you know? They have to begin the story somewhere kind of vibe. I assure you, it only gets better. Very much so. I spoke to them, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Very good. And here you are at last. Please do come in.
Yeah, it could be touched for. <gasps> I believe there's voices here. Welcome, Welcome home, home, my lady. Many voices, okay. Only a house. <laughs> My jaw dropped, Lamo. What? What are you gawping at? Nothing. Uh. House of Yur in all its grandeur. Uh, Scion headquarters must seem squalid indeed. Or just admiring the craftsmanship. Um. The rich kid? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, just admiring the craftsmanship. Oh, I. I suppose I never gave the decor much thought. I'm glad that you approve, I think. <laughs> Favorable outcome reached. Yay! <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I had my hands up in front of my face when I was clapping, and it like C spazzes out my mouth. <laughs> That's funny. Whenever I need to like voice that I'm glitching, like something that's glitching, I should just do that when I'm doing it. <laughs> Why is that so good? Good morning, Silver. <laughs> How are you, Nostril? I don't, I don't think you answered. <laughs> Lord Fortuno is not to hear of this visit. Oh, I need her voice a little deeper, slightly deeper. Ah. Doing all right? Good, good, very good. I am very sleepy, but I shall live. I find it hard to get in MMOs for a long period of time. I played RuneScape for a bit, WoW for a bit, and I beat the OG main story for ESO, but can never stick with one. Oh, that's that's very fair, yeah. That's very fair. <laughs> and I should also like the children to have their gifts ere yeah, my husband makes his return. Mm -hmm. Oh, very fair, Nostril. Very fair. Hopefully, it's not too bad. As you wish, my lady. <laughs> Master mm -hmm. Alphano, Mistress Alice, if you'd accompany me upstairs. I recognize that voice. It's Kryle's voice! And the other one sounded a little bit like someone else too, I couldn't tell. I vaguely was like, or you know, she might be, but I don't know, but this one was Kryle. Sorry. <laughs> You're addicted to Power World? Excellent choice, sir. We shan't be long. Hi. I wanna ruffle their hair. Like, see you too soon. The twins have been sending letters home from time to time, recounting their latest adventures. Yay. I'm sure they withhold certain details, of course, if only to keep me from worrying. Oh, they do. They, they do. don't worry about it. <laughs> They're good kids with a good mom. Yet a mother worries all the same. In the early days especially, I tried to support them as best I could, sending the Scions coin and other such donations. Hmm. Fortunately, they have found the strength to overcome adversity time and time again. Mm. Their words grow more confident with every letter, their depictions more vivid. Mm. That's gotta be worrying. The triumphs and defeats, the joys and sorrows. It is clear that they have come to find value in every experience. <laughs> but of those they treasure most, it would seem that meeting you might be the most impactful. Why, 
Since that fateful day, I do believe there has not been a single missive in which you were not mentioned by name. Aww, they like me. Aww. Grows more protective of them. <laughs> Tis plain they care for you, and I am glad they have such a steadfast companion watching over them. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would offer you tea, but alas, Damn. these are anything but. In any event, why don't you keep me company whilst we await my children's return? Perhaps you might regale me with a tale or two of your exploits. All right. You know, just now, what she said sounded a lot like a compliment. And I almost out of habit said no you, even though it didn't make any sense. Because whenever my friends and I give each other compliments, we're just like, N no you, wait what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, some habits die hard, huh? She's just such a mom, right? Yeah? <clears throat> what? What she just said reminds me of that line from Riverdale about the highs and lows of high school football. That's that's actually wild. I've not seen Riverdale. Is it good? It seemed a little interesting, but I wasn't sure if I'd be if it'd be up my alley or not. <laughs> hmm. Me drinking tail, uh, tea in real life while he tells the tales is what I'm trying to. God, I'm tired. You know, fair enough, Nostril. Fair enough. Uh. Yeah, the new outfits! When you mentioned gifts, I wasn't sure what to expect. Hell yeah! I love the new outfits. You could see- you saw them in the trailer for the expansion before I started it. Yes. She does look great in this, oh my gosh. Mother, I... Oh, look how well it fits you. And the style is to your liking. It's perfect. Exactly what I would have chosen. But please, tell me you had something different made for Alphano. <laughs> no more matching twins, she's she's asking. All of her outfit. Very her. I went from Murder Mystery to Magic World Ending New Year's. That... How? <laughs> How does one do that? The hell? Well, wait a minute, world ending meteors. I don't know anything like that. Hmm. Magic meteors. Oh, no. Never heard of them. <laughs> no, that's too fair, though. Potion, that's too fair. I don't blame her. Just because you're identical doesn't mean you need to look identical 24 7. Naturally. You are hardly little children anymore. Very good. And while I shall miss dressing you in those precious matching outfits, I must respect the individuals you have grown to become. <laughs> Listen, you could do a matching outfit. Still, right? But not the double blue again, right? You have them in like their colors. And a similar style, but like with variances to still show their individuality. But you can tell that the outfits go together kind of vibe, right? And then you still get that vibe without the matching exactly. It's fine. There are ways around this, Amelians. <laughs> I mean, what? Mm -hmm. Fair enough, Nostro. Wait, what? What do you mean creepy twi- You don't like the twins? Yet? 
<laughs> Bahamut storyline and AR, you couldn't tell them apart at all. I could too. They were earrings on opposite things, and Alize wears lipstick, and then there's their hair. Their hair is on opposite sides, and then she's got the red ribbon, he has the blue. Never mind. Anyway. I can tell them apart. <laughs> I'm good like that. I've also encountered a lot of twins in real life, so I think that helps. See for yourself. He's wearing the sage gear. Let's go. Thank you for the splendid clothes, mother. Stylish, comfortable, and eminently practical. Hmm. I am so glad you like them. They are, however, missing one final touch. If you Poor Ali, Master Alphano. Poor Ali on this one. Not gonna lie. These. You are a sage. A sage's tools of the trade. They belonged to your father. Though he may as well be chained to his desk these days, as a student, he was often called upon to venture into the field. He wielded those armaments both to heal and to harm in no few battles. None so fierce as those you two have braved, perhaps, but battles nonetheless. Thus did I pull them out of storage, to show you that he was not always the man who stands in vehement opposition to you now. <laughs> and also because it would be a terrible waste of ridiculously expensive House Leveilleur commissioned artistry. Fair. She did a wink. We don't see them wink very often. That might be the only time we've seen a character I am wink, told actually. These devices are quite difficult to master. But someone of your extensive experience should soon have them darting about with grace and aplomb. Of course, it's it's Alpha after all. Hmm? Okay, okay, show up, Luma. If I the twins just show up talking to fancy etiquette, make me feel dumb. They they don't talk good, Lamau. Hmm. Share the video clip and memes in your server. Very good, thank you. I'll look at a bit. Alfie does look really good as a sage. Yeah. I hope Alice gets a new class at some point. I mean, I love her as a red mage, but like everyone else has gotten a new class, but her. <laughs> if they gave her one you know may the wisdom in that crystal serve you well and please try to find common ground with your father that you might come and go without need for this awful subterfuge fair we will mother I promise Aww. My final gifts to you, before you run off, are an observation and a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Firstly, Fortuno has ever been a serious man, but it was only after you were born that he truly lost himself in his work. Mm -hmm. I may not know the forum's inner workings, but I know your father's. The timing of that change in him holds some significance. Okay. Secondly, do not seek to best your father with words. Ah. Far better that you simply show him. Let him discover the merit of your actions. After they cannot be undone. Yo, she just told us to keep sneaking around and then be like, Lamau, we did the thing. <laughs> Actually, an amazing mom. 
Oh yeah, no, it's about time Cryo got some love too, yeah. <clears throat> We shall take your wisdom to heart. Thank you again for these gifts, and farewell for now. Aww. Safe travels, my children. Eat well, stay warm, and keep your friends close. I ain't letting them out of my sight. <laughs> oh wait, I have to go to Thafnir without them. Shit. I ain't leaving them out of the Scion sight. <laughs> They look so good. We stand the mama and want to punch the father. <laughs> Emilion's is just too sweet. You cry and just don't tell your father. Yeah, yeah, see, so you get it. You get it. <laughs> I'm doing thirty minutes already. Damn, slow. And that was that. Only the gods know when we'll be back again. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my honey stick. <laughs> my little tube of honey again. Thank you for indulging Mother's request. I can see it meant a lot to her, and I, ah, uh, shall refrain that refrain from inquiring as to the content of your private conversation. I wish I could ask her questions about you guys when you were kids, but hey, that's besides the point, I suppose. Our visit was all too brief. For now, however, it will have to suffice. As will these tokens of home that we carry with us. These gifts to help us remember who we are and whence we came. But enough sentimentality. Let us return to the Annex and rejoin our companions. Very good. Somebody's in the hallway making noises. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have raid tonight, so the raid group's talking. Very good. Very good. Okay. I forgot I had read tonight. It's Monday. I read on Mondays. The mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I have enough of read thing going on. Nothing very fancy. Ah, but fun nonetheless. As curious as I am to learn the truth of this duty, I wonder what else the form is hiding. A calamitous secret whose origin lies in the ethereal sea. Duplicity aside, however, I do not believe Master Fortunal means us ill. Even the harsh words he had for his children stemmed not from anger, I think, but desperation. Oh? Ready? Do, 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 do. Get your material ready? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm the only one in the group without the current relic weapon. That's because I don't, I don't like the members of really. I had to get through it though. Although to be fair, two people in my group just skip through all the Mandarin quests, but I'm determined to actually watch them so I know lore stuff if needed. 
and so I must suffer in pain. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Well, I don't have, I don't have all that. We haven't done Savage at all. Mm. But that's fine. It's just a group of four of us. We're doing one of the Criterions. The Silky. Silky boss. That one. Silden. Another Silden subterrain. For us to feel responsible for the schism of House Levior would be pure hubris. After all, we are merely on the outskirts of what is essentially a family affair. And yet neither can claim the indifference of strangers. To hear their mother welcome them so warmly was a joy and a relief. Mm. Yeah, I've got crafted and fucking tombstone. Yeah. And at some point I have to go through the magical quest so I can get the magical weapon. Scree. I guess I should start doing that. I've been wondering what to do. In my spare time that I really have. <laughs> I've mostly been reading though. I'm like, spare time? That's funny. I'm in the middle of a dungeon. I can read one page, right? No? Whoa, shit, right on the healer. <laughs> as soon as we're in between dungeons though, I pick up my book and I read it for, for like a paragraph or two and then it cue pops the next day and I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Every tiny moment goes the book. Right. If I intend to master these sage, uh, sages armaments, Okay. That will mean learning to imbue them with the same ether that I poured into Moonstone and Obsidian. God, I wish we could have Moonstone and Obsidian. It is difficult to grasp the essence of such an entity. For me, it will help to think of the new lists as allies in battle. Simply a new form of the energy which went into manifesting my carbuncle, carbuncle companions. Oh my god, I can not talk today. Why do I do this right after waking up again? <laughs> Why don't I give myself an hour to actually wake up? <laughs> wake up! <laughs> don't think for a moment that I'm jealous of Alphano's new weapons. They're far more suited to him than me. We left for Eorzea in matching outfits, but our styles, both fashion and fighting, have long since diverged. If anything, I'm proud of the differences between us. I just figure maybe one day you want a different weapon in general, you know? Not his weapons, but y your own new weapon. Th th what? They're not creepy, I swear! Can you be stream best stream? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you like the, the They're not creepy, I swear! They're just good little beans. You'll want to protect them one day too. It's fine. Enjoyed your time with the Levios, I hope. I would ask how the twins fared, but their new outfits tell the tale. Sorry, I had to switch up my mic's stuff, because I roommate's bossy music again. Huh? Why are they blasting music so loud? The, the mic is literally on my face. I I cannot see out of one of my eyes now. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> Alright. They they soften needs an adult present, because otherwise they will do crime, Lamau. Maybe, maybe. <clears throat> I only hope we can help them to reconcile with their father, that they might return home one day with their heads held high. In the meantime, we edge ever closer to the secret the forum strives to hide. And the flower bequeathed to you by Heidelin is sure to guide us going forward. I'm confident that once you've scouted out the situation in Thavnir, we'll be well equipped to plot our next to plot our next move. Oh my God! Peace and hope. Yes, that's true. That's true. The, the boys will do crime with them. Orange will be like, I'm not gonna say no to crime, but. Caution. <laughs> and then he'll slowly guide them through the crime in a, <laughs> in a way so that they won't get hurt. 
<laughs> it's wonderful how a garment given in love can so easily change one whole, one's whole outlook. I remember when I was still coming to terms with my talent in the Echo. Just being wrapped in the robe my grandfather gave me somehow made everything less daunting. Aww. Rianche, just don't tell you Stonewall. I biddeth thy do not repeat my words to you, <laughs> In your Stola's presence, lest she turn on us all. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. Though I have read much on the subject of Razatan, this visit shall be my first. It will be interesting to see how the Hanish mean to contend with the tower, different as the magical and technological disciplines are. I can read. So it's back to Thavner. Had I known earlier, I would have considered more suitable attire. No, that's not quite right for his voice, but I don't want to go too deep right now. Oh well. But Thavner bound. Thancred is eager to set forth for Thavner. I have Cryo's instructions in hand. If you are ready to set out, then so are we. Having been to Thavnir before, I can travel by Etherite. But what of the rest of you? Another sea voyage would waste time we do not have. Cryo was of the same mind, and has already secured the aid of the good folk of the Confluence. We'll take ourselves there. Uh-oh. Do a shock. The confluence thou sayest. Hmm? I require thee do not speak of this to Master Matoya, yeah? I'm afraid so much. <coughs> That's my water. Oh, I knew this was gonna be rough. <clears throat> oh, Fox! Thank you for the subby sub. Drive by Prime. I love it. We love to see it. Thank you very much. How are you today? I'm afraid so, my friend. Nope, that's not right, but you know what? We're gonna carry on. <laughs> I am great at life. Don't worry about it. Thou wilt recall the hunt for Iceheart. Onto whose sanctuary we delivered thee, owing to the knowledge of our comrade Moonbreeder. I, I recall. I recall her tragic death, too. Moonbreeder was an authority on etherology, a field of study she did embark upon in pursuit of her parents' example. A example, wouldn't that be? Maybe? Both are authorities in their own right, and both are researchers at the confluence. Haven't you gone to see them yet? <laughs> I attempted to do so earlier, but to my shame, my courage failed me at the last. <laughs> As it hath, <clears throat> the many times I thought to reach out to them by sending that fateful letter. Neither time nor introspection have revealed unto me the words I should speak, and thus have I kept my silence. Whether you come with us or no is your choice and yours alone. If it is too difficult, we'll manage. <clears throat> this stingy's voice is gonna get me each time. So is Dangrid's. It's, it's the boys. Their voices are very opposite mine. Thou art kind to say so, but I have no intention of forsaking our cause. I shall go to the confluence, and I shall face that with that which hath long been overdue. <sighs> if it's settled, then let us be off. When we arrive, we shall look for a researcher named... Kit? Kite? Kite. <laughs> yeah, kitty. Sure, why not? It's, we're gonna go with Kit, it sounds better. Dad Cred is there to take care of you. Yes, yes, Dad Cred is here. Dad, Dad Cred will protect you. 
Buff cactuar isn't real. What? Nothing. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a cat boy. I thought I saw a bun boy. I was like, meh. A little bun? Where? Alright, it's just around the corner. Just around the river bend. I think my music. Er, no. I think my roommate has stopped blasting music. We are good. Let me arrange my mic. There we go. Much, much better. <laughs> if he steps out of line, just say you're gonna tell Re. True! True. Just be like, damn, Thancred, I wonder what Ring would say to that. He starts sweating. <laughs> Just a full on cold sweat. Uh, 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 uh it's fine. <laughs> Hello, Kit. I'm gonna call you Kit. Because I could call you Kite. Oh, wait, it probably is Kite, isn't it? But that sounds like not a name. We're gonna go with Kit. You wouldn't dare. Yeah. <laughs> I fought the cactuars last night. I had 1,040 HP and they had 1,000 needles. It was a sweaty fight. The fair, very fair. Dodging is very, very important. Yes. <laughs> well, now, this is a. This is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? Again? Not to our knowledge. We're associates of Cryo and the students of Baldesian. We seek passage to Thavna and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects! Welcome, welcome! Test subjects? <laughs> oh, you hadn't heard? Well then, allow me to explain. So, in order to travel to an etherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of ether hurtling along the life stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible limitation of etherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you that there's a way to travel to an etherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been. For long years, we've labored to... <laughs> labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. Hmm. And finally, we've done it. Created a new kind of etherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly, that changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these etherites, but the etherites themselves must have been pre-tuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. But it just so happens that of our first test pair of etherites, one has been installed here in Charleian, and the other one in Yedlamad, a port town in Thavner. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Razat Han, and indeed, we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So, to sum it up, we were to test these aetherites. How fortuitous for you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel ether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these etherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk you away without any effort on your part. Sorry, shall I itch on my shoulder? There you go. A veritable dream come true. And far be it from me to worry about such things. But do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours. So, assuming you're willing, we're all set. Uh. Yeah. Itchy, itchy. Itchy, itchy. <laughs> it may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Mm -hmm. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the live stream. In that statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. But it's plain that you aren't most people. <laughs> Mistress Kryle truly knows how to pick them. I... 
if I might change the subject, our master, Wilfson and Mistress Blowida, not present today. Oh, didn't you hear? They've recently res uh, resigned their posts. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. A large-scale project held by the forum itself, as I understand, but I'm not privy to the details. I see. Any other questions? No? Then let's get going before you change your minds. Please, see to your preparations and head outside to the Etherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. <laughs> In case you were wondering, the Etherite still functions like a normal one. It's just been upgraded to allow unattuned travel. I'll see you there shortly. Damn. I can't go into the mystery. Ooh. That looks like a place I'd want to go. Why can't I go there? Damn it. I dread. <laughs> Given my experience with teleportation, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any reservations. But I will trust in cryo. Though words unsaid yet weigh heavy on my heart, I shall devote mine all to our task in Thavnir. <clears throat> I shall teleport the tried and trusted way. Good luck. Oh boy. Mm. I'm to an ether crystal travel. Not even once. Y yeah, this should, this should be interesting. Oh boy. Y'all ready for this? Doom 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 Right, we're all set. Oh, she had a much higher pitch voice than I gave her. Of you, was it? Three. I am already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. Hmm. <laughs> you are? Oh. I would have preferred more test subjects. Uh huh, but you were. Oh, well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. Uh. I like that though, potion. Very good. Meanwhile, she ran away. Why did she run away? Yes, right there is fine. Take a deep breath, and I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. <sighs> Thing. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck! I feel like you should have said something sooner. What? Oh no, our faces. <laughs> Meanwhile, her while they're gone must have worked. <laughs> uh. And they were never heard from again. <laughs> I appreciate the map. Thavnir, home Ooh. to city-state Rods at Han. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos, in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. 
Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. Ah, I live. Now across this vibrant <laughs> isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? Oof. F. What chance? Ooh. Against such an insidious foe. <laughs> I love his timing for the narration. Hi, Taiki. How are you? What chance? Boom. Against such an insidious foe. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It really is, Bojan. <laughs> Poor Uri. <laughs> Just curled up into a ball. <laughs> I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. I'd prefer some bread, but sure. There was a note with Kryle's instructions. <clears throat> Don't let Estinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly bad with coin. Oh no. Mm. Mm. We're like, it's up to us. <laughs> you managed to will yourself to your feet, but given your condition, will you be able to reach and Reach a Stidian in time. Rare. Oh, wait. <clears throat> uh, nope. Stopping. Oh, champion. Now, quickly, find a Stidian before he. Uh, mm. Rush in peace, early on, Shay. Oh, there. Ow. That was a bright flash. There it is. Second there. I thought I was going to get it. I could have sworn there was like a debuff. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn. They got me again. The realization of he took our gill. Yeah. Eh. Graham. Am I okay? Maybe. You there. I need three drinks. Something that helps with Etho's sickness. But by the Manusa. I don't remember if I said that right. Uh, oh god, I forgot their accents. Uh, I don't. How do I do that accent? Er, I mean, greetings! Greetings and welcome! I don't know that I can do the accent, actually. You are wise, good sir, to come to. Nope. Nope. Why do you automatically go Scottish, child? Stop it. Scots Irish, whichever. Somewhere in that mix, anyway. Oops. Those are two very different words. Is that typo? Okay. Um, I don't. How do I do that accent? I need to hear it, you know? Orion Shea being in the fetal position is perfection. It really is. My special um, Amra Lassi made with only the f finest and freshest ingredients is famed for calming on ruly bellies. There we go. That's close to what I need. By way of warm welcome to Thavnir. No. Mm -hmm. I'm pleased to offer it to 
they'll offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil. For not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain almost, or a bargain amongst bargains. Uh, it's not quite right. It's not horrid, either. Hmm. The price is high road robbery. <laughs> and you want to say as much as Stinian, but you realize any words of warning you cry out could, or would be accompanied by your last meal. Ooh. Ah, shit. One sec. There's a knock on my door. Apparently, I've lost my ability to walk, and I took fall damage. I didn't take as much as I could have, but I did take some fall damage. Oh well, I'm fine. I lived. And I will continue to do so. Alright, you must stand before Astinian and, using gestures, deny that the deal is fair. Yeah, I was trying to walk, and I had to step over something, and that immediately made me lose my balance, I guess. I do that sometimes, even though I'll be walking just fine with perfect balance and everything, every now and again my brain will just like shut off and I will not have any balance. I swear I'm not a klutz, I swear. Yes, definitely not a klutz. I was given a giant bowl of soup. Very good. I believe it is tomato in nature. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, tomato. With cheese and croutons. Very good. It's okay, I don't need to walk, guys. I just need to sit here and play FF. <laughs> okay. Mm, for... Actually, it should be... Well, just in case it's not fine. Oh my god, I forgot to give myself the busy status. No one bothers me during my end's queue. No one. No. Is that what I'm looking for, though? Alright. Um... Oh, I already have them clicked. Very good. Hmm? 19,800 gil. That's a reasonable deal, isn't it? Ah, I need to... I need to do a better voice for him. Not so rugged, I guess. Deny. Hmm? I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so urgent? Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie? This merchant is swindling me. Ooh! S sincerest apology, sir, but I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually 1,890 gil for the three bottles of lassie. Uh-huh. <laughs> That confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well then, your coin. Yeah, 1,890 gills. Much better. Ugh. Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. Very good. Thank you, Stinny. I'll be back after I've explored the, to uh, explored the town. I can talk. I squint at him. Okay. I'm probably gonna get sick again, aren't I? Ow. Unless? Are you baiting me? Are you baiting me right now? Wow. I made it, I'm okay. A, a teensy weensy touch, she says. Not even my hottest night's drinking comes close. That is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's still there. Okay. It's still nothing but silence curled up in the veto position. This poor boy. Okay. Made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, this Amra flavored lassi. Amra flavored? Hmm. Is boasted to settle unruly stomachs. Very good. Praise be to the. Uh, no. <clears throat> be to the twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heartfelt thanks to thee, an Astinian, and to the fine fruits of this land. Ne'er have teleportation induced such terrible discomfort. It was torturous in its intensity, and I would sooner swim in a score of moms. A man who can't swim rather swim, oof. You know, I, I was actually having stomach issues. Somebody in my house brought a stomach bug or something similar home. So I, I definitely relate to this right now, because I was like dying. I had to stop what I was doing and go lay down for over an hour. I was like, okay, I feel like death. Thankfully, I didn't get too sick. I, I was good. It just... Ouchy. <laughs> you know? Ouchy stomach pain. So I definitely relate to Uri and Thangrud right now. <laughs> Ugh. Ranjay looking like he's reliving his life in his head. Yes, for sure. You were in time. Excellent. You've spared us to Toru's wrath. True. Special on my lassie. Very good. Oh, I must have drank mine immediately. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. Oh, no, I haven't. Impressed it didn't get me again. Mmm. Soup. I like soup. Right, I'm ready to get on with it. That lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. <clears throat> It's time for the change. Th thy hair. I have bound it. Tis the most I could do against the heat, short of shedding my armor. May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. The man said it's a Thavnerian weave, tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? 9,400... <laughs> 9,400 gil. A steel, I was told. Tis nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over form. 94... That shit should have cost like 10 gil. <laughs> Maybe 200. Going by reasonable prices, like 150 to 200, maybe. 500 gil, most, I'll give. That's incredible. I dare say not even Alphano could hold the candle to you. Mm-hmm. It's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but doesn't it seem excessive here? Are all Hennish merchants so un uh, unscrupulous? I expected the Azure Dragoon to put up more of a fight. <laughs> I mean... No, 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 no. <clears throat> um, it's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but doesn't it seem excessive here? I mean, smart was my answer. I am inclined to agree with thine assessment. It doth seem excessive. Unusually so. <clears throat> Claiming Thavner as its dominion, the nation of Razatan hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. The mean voice lines in the mouth. In the beginning, there were the Arcasadora. The Arcasadora. I don't know why I like saying it that way, but I do. <laughs> I'm not going to when I'm voice acting it. I'll just be like, <laughs> Arcasadora. You know, like I did just now, but. Not mid voice acting, that'd be a little weird. <laughs> <clears throat> a Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. <clears throat> Over time, they came to be joined by other races, and through their intermingling... 
a culture rich and distincted emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have, be have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. A deployment only aided by the nation's prime location as a waypoint, waypoint betwixt east and west. Ugh, fucking mad. Sorry, Andre, speak. All of this hath combined to make a trading power of Rosatom, yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must needs be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travellers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so, that opportunistic pricing is rampant, rampant doth suggest that oversight is much weakened, or mayhap the people have fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. True. Prudent and practical, I. We've not to lose by learning more. True! If only knowledge to gain, and knowledge is power. Hmm. Soup. Please hold. I'm souping right now. <laughs> Alright. So, ere we seek out Cryo's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here in the other mod? Get the mod. Get the mod. Excellent. We didn't exactly get off on a flying start, but we'll make up for it. The super. Aw, oh, they gave me more. My hair is like tickling my back and it's made it cheek. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> Be thou assured that I am quite recovered. Lassie is truly a boon for unruly stomachs. I need to look it up. Hold on, I want to see if it's real. Nope, it knew that I was talking about FF. Hold on, what if I just put Lassie? Oh shit, it's real. It's just that the fruit was fake. Oh my god, oh my god. Lassie is an Indian yogurt-based beverage with a smoothie-like consistency. It has been called the most popular and traditional yogurt-based drink in India. Well, shit. It's real. It's real, guys. And sounds good. How does one make it? Why would you make a salt version? That doesn't... Ooh, mango. Shit, I got distracted. I like mangoes. Anyway. Ah, a little sugar and spice make everything nice. Wow, wow, wee. Ingredients: <clears throat> one cup chopped very ripe mango, or frozen chopped mango, or canned mango pulp if that's what you got. Okay. Uh, one cup plain yogurt. Oh, okay. Half a cup of milk. Okay, we're really going for the dairy here. Four teaspoons of honey or sugar, more or less to taste. A dash of ground cardamom, which is optional, and ice, optional. Okay. Yeah, no, I can see how this would be good. Yeah, I can see how this would be good. Now I want to make it. It's on the list. <laughs> it's on the list of things I wish to make in the future, one day. I like it. Is it truly so amusing to see my hair bound? Tis how I used to wear it, a functional fashion. Perhaps you were confused by how you found me following Nidhogg's demise. It had fallen loose after the Kyurgeons removed me from my armor and put me to bed. I simply decided to leave it that way for a time, seeing as I would not don the Azure of Dragoon's helm again. Fair enough. Hmm, now I want Lassie. You know, it's really popular in the East. To have, like, yogurt in your drinks. Like, I know Korea... Korea does, like, yogurt... Soju? That's one of their alcohols. Soju. Not... Too different, but not... Very similar to sake from Japan. But yeah, they, they add 
a yogurt drink that they have into the soju, mix it up, and it actually makes it taste very good. I've tried this one. Japan, too, has their yogurt drinks. I don't know about all of the Asian countries, but I know a lot of the Eastern ones are like, yeah, try this yogurt drink. Meanwhile, in the West, we're like, huh? You want me to add what to that? <laughs> yogurt would be good. Um... Hmm. All right. Um, oh wait, we read that. Blah, 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 blah. On low tide, his stomach behaving once more, Thangrid is ready to get to work. Right, let us split up, making quarries in town. The pier is yours. Once we have learned what we can, we regroup by the etherite, off-putting though the mere sight of it may be. Fair. Very fair. Sure. Mm. Yum. Okay. Mavada. Welcome, traveler. Nope. <clears throat> That's right, we're open for business again. Can't sit wallowing when there are sales to be made, am I right? So, got any bicolored gemstones you're willing to part with? That wasn't right at all. That's not at all what I wanted, but here we are. I just, I'm not used to the accent. So I'm over here like, ah, oh, yeah, about that. How do? Squints. Oh, I was hoping to find my homies the boys but i see not the boys i don't see the boys we bring the boys out okay anyway oh wait no that's water what are you doing brain there we go <clears throat> well now, it isn't a traveler. You're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us a wide berth since that accursed tower suddenly appeared on Nurunair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no. It had to spawn fair fiends as well. We still have our lives, thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What will become of us, only the gods know. God, I cannot pick an accent. Huh. <laughs> the Mao Potion. It is a shame not everyone's as brave as you, or foolish. I am failing, and I am sad about it. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Eh. Ben, I summon thee. The crate is laden with fruits, but they are on the verge of spoiling, as if they have been left too long. Let me close my heater for a sec. I see heater, but it's a vent for the central system of air in the house or whatever. Uh, whatever it's called. Meanwhile, my copybara is enjoying that crate of fruit. He's like, it's about to spoil? No, it ain't. I got this. Wash me. I was going to read their name as Darjeeling for a second there. I drink too much tea. Yep. Jinali? Maybe? Oh god, I really don't know how to pin that accent. Oh, I'm so sorry. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly anything sells these days. Besides, uh, wait, no. Business has never been this terrible. 
But I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat like Kazal. I don't envy his position. Better to be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler by the looks of you. If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kazal a visit. He'd be glad for tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at the Saltwind Sails, the Harbor Guild building across the water from here. There. If times are tough for me, they must be a thousand times worse for Kalzal. I can't help but worry for him. I'm just gonna have to win it like always. This is very long, but it's good for sure. Hmm. Gazing, <clears throat> I'm good. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby islands, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to other ports you have visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. Mm, so far. So far away, so far away. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel, I'm starting to realize that that might be part of why people don't like soup. Because it's not super filling, but I don't feel it's supposed to be either. And I feel like it's fine. I feel like it is what it is, and it's yummy. And that's what matters. Now, give me some bread with it. Ooh, we feel fast. Mm. Melt the cheese. And what do you expect me to do? The Damascans aren't coming, but we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't going to help. All I know is that their plans have changed, and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire is at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower sitting on our doorstep, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Uh, but this will be an enormous loss. All right, all right. Forget about the Damascans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handicrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hanish fabrics. Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. Uh, I know all these things, Kazal. I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. Our voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. Ugh. And you are? Here. Hi. <laughs> Wait, you are a foreigner, are you not? A merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. No, sorry. Mm. I see, that's a shame. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. Oh, I know who this is. My, my name is... No. What voice should I give Matsya? I like Matsya. My, my name is Matsya, and I'm here to see Kalzal. Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later, then. No, this is Matsya, not, um, Nad not Nadina. <clears throat> this is Matsya. If foreign vessels won't come to visit us, why not use our own to deliver the wares to them? Hmm. 
It's not so simple, Kazal. And besides, everyone is in the same boat. Everyone. You confuse them? Uh, I mean, the easiest way is the guys don't wear shirts. That's like the easiest way to tell them apart. Males don't wear shirts for the um, Arcasadora. <clears throat> no, I don't think it's racist. I think it's just you're not used to it. That's like... <clears throat> That's like, um, being in a town or city that's primarily the local culture and then literally walking into the next town and it's 100% different and you're just like, I have no idea how to function here. You know what I mean? I, I think it's just like a, not exactly a culture shock, but like, it it's just not what you're used to. So it takes you longer. You have to learn what they've grown up with kind of vibe. It's the same with languages and stuff, too. Like, if you don't know any Asian languages and you hear someone talking Chinese and you're like, or, well, no, I guess usually it's if you hear someone talking Japanese, they're like, is that Chinese or something? Or vice versa. It, you just don't know. You, you don't know. It's something you learn. Or you'll be like, yep, that's Asian. No idea what you're saying, though, buddy. <laughs> You know? And, and that's fair. You, you can't expect people who don't live in a region to know everything about the region. To us, as players, they just look like walking elephants. Or if you look at a Lalafell, they look almost identical male and female. No one will blame you for not being able to put two and two together there either. <laughs> But yeah, the easiest for them, for the Arcasadora, is the males don't wear shirts, whereas the the females wear the, like, full-body robes. Yeah, ignorance until you learn. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Actually, are there any females here? I can show you the thing. There are. I know where one is. I'm pretty sure. I think, I think there's one up there anyway. Maybe not, actually, now that I'm looking at- Wait, no, there is! Ha-ha! See, here, she's female. All of the females wear this long, like, robe-like outfit. <clears throat> Lamau Red. Hi, Red, how are you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all, all the women wear that and all the men wear, um... Shirtless. Mm -hmm. That's the easiest way to tell them apart, not gonna lie. Y yes, can I help you? No, I, I don't know if I saw in the room. I don't remember what his voice is. I don't know how I managed to pull off some of my voices. Don't ask questions. You see it now? Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> ah, I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Karzal too, did you? I am Matsya, a fisherman of Aka uh, Akiali, a nearby village. Ugh. Once I hear his voice, I'll be able to match something. But for now, I'm just going to give him a little bit of a timid voice because he do be timid. <clears throat> Wait, hold on. I'm trying to remember something. I'm so confused. But anyway, I'll remember later, probably. I... S <clears throat> I sell my catch to Karzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium has been struggling, I became worried and decided to come and see him. Just as soon as he's free, anyway. He's a hard-working man, and I dare not disturb him. So guess what happened when I was playing Power the other day? Uh, what? Fisherman's friend, Matsya regards you nervously. Don't be nervous, I'm just a person, I swear. Oh, wait, no. I can relate to that anxiety. Never mind, carry on. <clears throat> huh? I had not activated the first waypoint, so I had to run really far. 
Damn it, you and your activating teleports, Red. This is a habit, and it's a bad one. Grr. It's FF14 all over again. <clears throat> it's like a 10 minute run back to ah! teleport first always <laughs> potion potion when red started the game it was like he, he was already able to travel between the city states right he had the teleports he had gone there with the etherites and then i'm like okay yeah now we just teleport back and he told me he didn't have teleport unlocked and i just looked at him and went huh that's not possible what do you mean you don't have it unlocked what happened he's like i'm like do you have recall and he's like no i don't and i just kind of looked at him and went what <laughs> and I had to drag him from Gridania to Bent Branch to unlock that etherite so that he could unlock teleporting. <laughs> and I will never let him live it down. <laughs> well, he had been doing his like starter quest through Uldab and went by the first etherite, he didn't unlock it at all. <laughs> Uh-huh. It was very immersion to the game. Yes, yes, that's it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, tell me what the Wilda storyline is. <laughs> oh, no. Evil Lawless! No, that's not it! <laughs> Smack, 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 smack. The starter quest, what what was it about? The 1 through 15. Hmm? Hmm? Um, if I may ask, what is it that you do? I'm an adventurer. I murder things for a living. An adventurer, you say? You travel the world helping people? Yeah, that's it. Then... That must mean you are great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? You see, I've brought some fresh fish with me. The portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is, I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kazal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. <laughs> trunk in a twist. <laughs> Meet you for science, solve local problem. Fight little Lassie and get hired by the scions. Which scion did you meet and what was the problem? Squints. Got the first one, Ultima. Ah, uh, let's let's not talk about areas in Endwalker, please. <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna hide that. <laughs> don't worry about it, don't read it. Don't read it, Red! Yeah, don't don't mention anything that I haven't come across yet. Is the general rule. You're good. You're good. You're good. <clears throat> so, please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? If you're willing, please let me know, and we can begin at once. Hmm. He is getting put on trial, yes. Mm -hmm. The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. <gasps> you know what? I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Good enough. As long as you didn't look it up. Stares at you. <laughs> Matsya. You'll do it then. Show me how to deal with customers. Ah, oh, I'm in your debt. Very good. You get you get a point then. You could have received more points, but you only get one. Right. Please try peddling my fish to, shall we say, three people here in Yetlamad. I will observe you and learn. Mancia is now accompanying you. 
to travel to unfamiliar places and speak with unfamiliar peoples. Your conversational skills must be astounding. Me wondering how Red did during this. <laughs> oh, I have to go that way. My bad. He do for forgetting what their problem is. Yes. <clears throat> fish! Fish! I got fish here. Fresh fish, straight from the sea's bosom to your mouth. No. <laughs> the loading. Excellent. I had a feeling that would happen. Alright. Greetings, friend. How fair you of late. Greetings to you, too. <sighs> I suppose I'm well enough given the circumstance. Things have settled down somewhat, but it was utter chaos when that tower first appeared. Everyone grabbing whatever they could, trampling over each other to get to the city. Many remain there for now, but I could not stay away. I had to come back, continue with my life such as it is. Whether or not it was the right choice, only time will tell. It's too risky out here, maybe you ought to move to the city too. There's no place like home, but don't do anything dangerous, huh? Yeah. Oh, trust me, I don't. I make sure to keep well clear of the tower, and when more monsters emerge from it, I heed the Radiant Host's instructions. I hope they deal with it soon, so we can get back to our normal lives. To the days when you could earn as much as you gave, and tuck into a meal satisfied that you did good work. <clears throat> the days will come again before you know it, till then stay safe. Nah. Speaking of meals, why not have some fresh fish today? Hmm? Fresh fish, you say? Oh, you're a fishmonger! <laughs> when you bait me like that, how can I not bite? Very well, give me some of your fish. Matsya's like, oh! He's so cute. <laughs> He's just this big, shy bean. <laughs> Thank you for your custom. The catch of the day is shallows caught. Delectable stewed in coconut milk or baked with a sprinkle of salt. You succeed! Woo! Not many visit here from other shores anymore. Even Alnair has seen few merchant ships in its docks, and has felt the loss of coin they bring most keenly. That you should make a sail on the first attempt. I've learned a lot already, and I hope to learn more still. You thought about this? All I remember is you have to save the Sultana, and that homeless people that are coming in droves causing food and work shortages. Refugees, anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, good enough. You pass. Well done. Yeah, the, uh, the Sultana went out to the Sultana tree in disguise. And because she didn't tell anybody where she was going, she kind of just went poof. And you had to find her. And then Asians. Um, but you know. Nashreen. Very good. Well, no. A hawker, are you? Do you sell fruit by chance? If so, I want to buy some Amra. Let's say a dozen. They don't need to be export quality. Amra Shamra. My fresh fish is the only thing you need. What do you need so many Amra for? Why, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. Ah, stress eating. 
Okay. I am a stock taker by trade, but with no vessels coming these days, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas, but not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. I know how you feel. Are you sure you're actually hungry? You know, when I think on it, I'm not so sure. Rather than hungry, perhaps I've been feeling unfulfilled. And I try to fill the void by gorging on food I like. Um, do you like fish? Fish? I do like fish, as a matter of fact. Oh, why do you ask? Oh, so you're a fishmonger. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Hmm, seeing as you're here, do you happen to have... Akiali sardine? They're perfect in a spicy soup. Hmm, speaking of soup. Om nom nom. Ah. No, you're good, Rem. You're good. Happy lurking! <clears throat> we certainly do, madam. And if you like it spicy, I also recommend them pickled in oil with a generous amount of chilies. Oh, that does sound like a wonderful challenge. I didn't have fish in mind at first, but I dare say I, I'll enjoy these. Thank you. Yeah! Success! In my work keeping stock of inventory, I can see exactly how bad business has gotten. It makes me depressed. I don't blame you, lady. We're doing great so far. Dare I hope that we can make it three of three. Yeah, we got this. Telling me I can find you guys around here? Ah, shit, now I gotta know. Tis a storehouse like any other at first glance, yet in contrast to its scale, there is a distinct lack of activity. Where the boys at? Where the boys at? Bring the boys and. I've not thought of that song in a minute. Where the boys at? <laughs> Meanwhile, Matsya is just getting dragged along by me, wondering where we're going. Whoops. Oh, Chocobo Keep. That's kind of important. I don't know the other boys. There's the grid! Oh, wait, they weren't here before, but now they are. Okay. Because I definitely looked at um, the Mender earlier and did not see Thangred. So they appeared after I finished the one quest. And started this one. Or just before I started this one. One of the two. Folk here are rather business-minded, for want of a better word. But at least they are welcoming of foreigners. In ordinary times, this harbor must overflow with visitors from all over the world. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, but where is Estinium? Estinium! Estinium! Haven't I pretty much checked the entire town? Estinium! Can he run? 
Can you keep up? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Canyon, where are you gone? Oh, wait, there was one right in here. I am a fool. I can't find a man. Oh, wait, he might be up here. There he is! I see his name! Yeah, I found him! Is Matthias still behind? Okay. Very good. Seen as there's dried fish, I wondered if there might be dried squid as well. He likes dried squid. If you're an Astinian fan, you want to keep that in mind. You can probably lure him closer. Wait, what? Nothing. Well, no. You'd be like, hello, dried squid. You just catch a wild Astinian. <clears throat> Mm. What is it? <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh, God, my stomach. Mm. Eater sickness. No, no, nothing so unusual. In my hurry to get back to work, I just ate a little too quickly. Um... Some fresh fish will settle your stomach, and mine are the freshest of all. Or you should take it easier. Eat more slowly and savor your food. Yes, that. Would that I could, but I can't afford to be idle. Like as not, circumstances will surely get worse before they get better. And so I'm working as hard as I can while I still can. The better to be prepared. Still working on that accident. What an industrious young man you are. Now, how do you intend to prepare? By stockpiling supplies. For that, I need to earn coins so I can buy food, medicine, what have you. Mm. Do you have anything suitable? Matsya? Uh, how about some fish for your supplies? They're fresh caught. Ah, oh, well, fish wouldn't be bad. But I don't want to go through the hassle of preserving them myself. I'd rather buy stuff that's ready to store. So I'm afraid I'll pass on your fish. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be getting back to work. Damn. We tried. T too bad we couldn't make a sale, but we did manage to build something of a relationship. Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was a truly eye-opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. I should have known he wanted to store them differently. I should have asked Matsya. Damn, sorry, oh boy. Unlike most, I'm fortunate to still have work, but there's no guarantee it'll last. I need to work as much as I can while I still can. Man... Come, let us return to the pier. I wish to thank you properly for your kind help. Damn. It is hard to get three for three, then. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I see. Very good. Ooh. Th thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. You managed to sell to two of the three people you approached. Adventurers do indeed have great conversational skills. Watching you at work was very enlightening. By applying the lessons I've learned, I hope to one day paddle as well as you. S 
still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope that things will return to normal for Kazar soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it- Oh, sorry, wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, another character came up. Ah. Okay. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it be but Matsya? Kazar, ha have you finished your business at the guild? So, you were there too. Forgive me. Try as I might, I can't find any buyers. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options. At this rate. So, you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsya. I truly am. But for now, you must peddle your own goods. By myself, I can't. I want to help you, I do. But as it stands, I can barely help myself. I've poured my all into the consortium, and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and families depending on me, and I can't, I won't, fail them. The sisters as my witness. Sorry. Oh no, I just finished Elcor. I got two out of three. I messed up the last one who wanted dried fish and not fresh fish. That is my bad. N not to worry. Using what I've learned from you, I'm sure I'll manage. Somehow. But how are you today? It's good to see you! Well, I had best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. Fish are friends, not food. <clears throat> there you are. Gotten over the ether sickness, have you? Mayhap owing to the island's small size, the tower's impo uh, impact uh, upon the people's lives doth appear more pronounced here than in Eorzea. <laughs> I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two, I trust. Yeah, I learned some things. I see. We also heard that the tower was affecting many locals' livelihoods, but to think that it would be to such extent. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected, discovery, disappearance and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. Disappearances and kidnappings, yes. Hmm? You're struggling a bit? It has been messing my sleep schedule. I'm trying to get it back to normal. It has me tired. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's understandable. Mm, I hope the heat goes down for you soon. It's supposed to be winter. Crouton. Mm. Okay. As before, the culprits are, mo are almost certainly tempered Imperial soldiers. And as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a lunar prime. Business as usual for the Tlofferoi. True. <laughs> Let me bring up the list. Senor, I am so funny. Time's up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six more quests I want to get through today. Okay. I better pick up the piece. Helping a struggling fisherman you've only just met to peddle this catch. 
Yes, you would do something like that. Yes. Oh. House of Divinities, judging by his furrowed brow, something important has occurred to Astinian. That Matsya fellow you were helping, he's Argusador, is he not? Apparently, it is almost exclusively his people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? If summoning is this perpetrator's aim, it does stand to reason that Argusador would be their primary targets. For it is the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. We better get after him. Akali lies to the west, as I recall. The same direction as Cryo's acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. <laughs> okay. Um, boop, and boop, just in case. Well, that was fast. Eh, there you go. That was a little too on the point. You do not see Matsya nearby, but the elevated ground up ahead may provide a better vantage point. Blue quest! Oh, that reminds me. I didn't do a blue quest last time. That was in, um, Labyrinthos. Shoot. I'll do them another time. I kind of want to get through these birch. Which is a little abnormal for me, but it's okay. Oh, it's fine. You do not see Matsya from here either. No, no, leave me alone! Help! Somebody help! Matsya's voice, and it came from the north. I find it slightly tacky to have Gajos here when we have the Arcosadora. Like, yes, we realize they're elephant like, elephant people. Kind of. But but did you have to, like, put the nail in the coffin there? Where is- oh, I somehow went right past it? What the hell? How'd I manage that? Train. Bio, bio, bio. Bio, bio, bio. <clears throat> there we go, Matsya. We got you. Oh? Where did they go? Why are you here? I see you found him in time. You... you and your friends came to look for me. I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. And then those men came. Kidnappers. We'd heard that the Arcosador were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it best if you took refuge in the city. We've considered it, uh, considered it, me and the others, but the fishing is all we know. The ocean is all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. Like, yeah? 
"'Tis our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? Not much. I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard that some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. For that reason, some have taken to calling the tower Zot. House of Divinities in the old tongue it means. But they're not true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that bring only death. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity, and full justified art thou in thine outrage. Know that it is tis for no other purpose but to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time, we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? You've come all this way to save us? Really? To think I had you peddling fish? Ain't that the common response? It's okay, dude, I'm used to it. <laughs> I'm noticing that the nails of the Argus Adora are at the tips of their fingers and it's bothering me really hard. It shouldn't. I don't know why I never noticed before, but it's, 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 I hate it here. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm good. But to answer your question, yes, of course. We would gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller, and I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please, come to our village. We're good, gods-fearing folk, all of us, and we'd be honored to share our knowledge. And fish. <laughs> what sayest thou? Shall we pay visit to Akalia? Or Akali. Akali. Yeah. Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. Uh, miss it. <laughs> So, tis the simulacra of Thavnerian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The Kinnat Hainish are imprisoned in the tower. Whoa, I do speak. I pray that we will be able to save them. Though indeed, saving them will mean confronting their false gods like as not. Aye, as you said, we'll do what... Er, we do well to study their religious traditions. Twakyali. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Okay. I haven't been looking for Ether Grounds. Shit. North! Actually, uh, this is where it gets confusing because this place is divided in a half, so I don't know if it's north on this side or if it's north on the other side. Actually, that part's just lower. That's not a split path. But the land is split. Actually, wait, no, it is. I can't go there, can I? No, I can. Yeah, that's the split path. Okay. Okay. Um. Actually, I think there is an ether current up there in that temple. I could just. I could just let story flow properly and stuff. It's not my way. Uh. <sighs> or is it? Oh, you know, it might not have been an ether current that was here, but rather a lookout point. Now that I think about it. But I don't have lookout points unlocked for Endwalker yet. Okay, so it was a lookout point. Damn it. North and what? We're getting really far from it where I need to be, so I'm gonna go back. I'm sure I'll find him. Oh, there's one in the southeast. I can go there. Probably.
Oh, JK, that's on the other half. Never mind. We're gonna go back to questing. I mean, I suppose I don't have to get all of this section done. I just want to do all of this section in one go. But I mean, I wasn't able to on the other side of things, so... Same time, I shouldn't be too surprised, I suppose. I am doing Iron Walk for MSQ again this week, so I guess I can chill. Just do things like I usually do. Southeast, though. Very good. <clears throat> Here it is. I heard it. Northeast. Oh, that's the one on the other side that I can't get to. Scream! Fred. A charming little village. Shame about the hideous tower. True. Danny. Mark you that platform out on the water. Some manner of shrine, perhaps. Maybe. Where's Uri? There he is. There's Uri. Familiar though I am with the myths and legends of this land, to hear them spoken by heirs to this storied heritage giveth them new life. Ah. Welcome to Akalia, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much here save that. But please, make yourself at home. Your companions have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around and do the same. Any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than start with Kanga and old Hasvida. Hasvida. They're free at the moment, as it happens. I'll try not. To, er, I'll try to think if there is anything useful I can share with you as well. After all, I still owe you for rescuing me on the hill. Ah. Asveda. That do be pretty. Interested in, in learning about our gods, you say? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Perk up your ears then and listen. In ancient times, the Manusa and the Merga, deities who look like men and beasts respectfully, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Manusia, the Merga cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Likewise, the Manusia coveted the might of the Merga, and so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom, and they ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, the Manyunsa have worn animal faces, and the Merga the limbs of men. We honor the Manyunsa and Merga by incorporating their sacred images into, bo into works both practical and artistic. Try looking out for them, eh? Where is Kanga? Oh, there's Kanga. Hmm, you used to know about our gods. What a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is whence you hail, but our isle home... Er, our isle's home to many gods. They can be divided into two groups. The Manyusa, beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and the Murga, beings of might who assume the form of beasts. Together they are divinities, 
Their forms and personalities many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. Different though they may be, both the Manyusa and the Murga are equally divine and equally revered. There you are. Learn the thing or two about our gods, I trust. While we were off talking to the others, I remembered something that may be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. <clears throat> they are Manyusa. You heard about them already, yes? Three sisters. The center one is the eldest, Sinduruva, a goddess of wisdom. For this, alchemists hold her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sanduruva. As goddess of wealth, she counts many traders among her followers. And on the left is Minduruva, the youngest sibling. She provides over the crafts, and so is beloved by weavers. Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. In like fashion to the Manusa, the deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life. And what of the Murga, if I may ask? The Murga hold power over nature. In ages past, they were revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. <laughs> Sorry. Among them is a god who possesses a gaja's head, and he is venerated as the progenitor. Er, pro pro Progenitor? Yes. <clears throat> of the Arcus Adora. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. You worship dragons too. It is said that an ancestor of the Satrap, <clears throat> that's the ruler of Razatan, forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. This divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the Satrap. Legend holds that if ever the Satrap is in need, his dragon ally will fly to his aid. Dragon ally. More like... Dragon ally. Yes, there we go. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear. I am confident that the information you've given us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That is very kind of you to say. Thank you. I will pray for your success. Right, I believe it's time we start our cryo's acquaintance. An alchemist by the name of Nidhana. According to cryo's notes, we were to find her at a place called the Great Work, further north along the coast. I'm surprised Matsya didn't react. Oh, wait. The great work. Matsya has a shine in his eyes that wasn't there before. There's the reaction. Did, did you say you're going to see Nidhana? Oh, how I envy you. 
She's brilliant and beautiful, kind and understanding. And did I say she's beautiful? Oh, I could stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day. And those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. <laughs> Tell me you love someone without saying you love them. <laughs> The great work is situated at a cove to the north. Follow the road north to reach it. <laughs> He's so cute. Northeast? Hmm. That's the one on the other side, though. I love it, romance. Yeah. Matsya's very cute. He's just a shy bean who's got a crush on this girl, and it's adorable. And you stop falling for that one. It says east, and it's like right over here in the area I can't go, and it's driving me insane because I really, 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 really want to get it. Wee. Oh wait, I have to go around. Um, one a little too around, and yet not enough around. Wait, no, I guess just not enough around. Anyway, I got this. Wait, that's water. Ah! I'm fine. How do I get out of this pool of water? Again, I don't... Oh, there. There's the beach. Yeah. Why did my fairy wait until I was out of the water to start healing me, cries? Oh. Oops, all dead, apparently. Please hold while I... Participate in the age-old tradition of attuning to etherites at a proper time. Red might be lurking, but I'm so I'm like looking at him intently. Like you hear me? Attune right away, damn you! Very, very good. In such manner, <clears throat> in such manner did we find them. What could have befallen these people? If there was a battle, there's a conspicuous lack of blood. What in the world? <laughs> you know, fair. Marcus Adora, alchemist. <laughs> Yay, voiced. We're going to meet the bean. What happened here? Yes, what happened here? I should have. Their dress marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Thinkest thou they but slumber? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Whether it is by choice is another question entirely. Oh, we have guests. The bean is here! I love this bean. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. I am Vashan, servant to the Satrap. My task was, in fact, to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. 
I appreciate this kid keeping his calm while he's looking at this guy with a giant spear on his back and is like, huh. Wow. Hopefully no one's gonna die today. <laughs> People of the great work, I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? We have new scales? <laughs> God, they're quirky. Yes, my friends. Gather round. I have them right here. Now I can continue my experiment. Hmm? Close up those, but he's the never. <laughs> Many thanks. One for me. Those are dragon scales. Yes, such materials are vital to their most pressing research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. Hell yeah. Did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? God, I love these alchemists. <laughs> We're from students of about this. Course. You're the one Kryl sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Yes, that's me. Oh, this is a day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova. The winds have shifted. I feel it. The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Okay, so they have varying strengths to the accents. So I can just kind of voice things as normal and try to s have a little bit more accent for like main characters. Okay, I'll try. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Very much so, Alcor. <laughs> Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. That is well. You must be quite familiar with Dragonkin, yes? Uh, they're doing the teleporting. Now it's unsettling a little. Is this their congealed blood I see on your weapon? No. Hmm. Speaking of dragon blood, you yourself have been infused with it, have you not? How could they tell? I should like to draw a file or two, if so. Uh, run, Stinny! Run! No. See here. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. Uh, run! Cease your shoving, or so help me. <laughs> How are you literally doing rest in peace? <laughs> oh dear, your poor companion. What with the new scales and your timely arrival, my colleagues are a little giddy with excitement. <laughs> you think? No harm will come to him, I promise. Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? <laughs> Just whoosh, whoosh, asking him questions as they teleport to him. Oh, Jesus. They're surprisingly agile. Especially for a bunch of people who were just unconscious. <clears throat> as you may have guessed, I am Nidana, 
the alchemist who sent the request to your mistress Kryle. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. <laughs> but it is here at the great work where I collate our results. Very good. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. Very good. I'm sorry, Stinny. Don't die. We love you, I swear. <laughs> Where did he go? Where did they go? Oh god, the whole group's gone. Well, he's been abducted. If I were him, I would have just dragon jumped out of there, you know what I mean? Been like, nope. Yeet. It is said that selfish is ideal for those who have suffered blood loss. Mayhap we should have acquired some from Matsya. Oh! Implying he's okay with them taking blood from Stinny. <laughs> oh, for the days when I enjoyed such fervent adoration. But on this occasion, I am glad to entrust the burden of popularity to a Stinian. I don't know that he can handle it. He's not so good with people. Varshan's watching me like a hog. We aren't friendly, though. Still. <clears throat> Pray, pay me no mind. I am here that I may be of service. Nothing more. Little, little beeper. It's a little too light. Allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we are grateful that you would assist us with ours. I feel it needs slightly adjusted, but it's, it's close. Though Cryo herself is tied up with another investigation, he is an immensely capable substitute, and we will spare no effort to aid you. So, if I understand correctly, you seek to make talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of ether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar, and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. In order to strike back, the satrap bade us alchemists create enchanted talismans. Talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack innate protection. Could such a thing be possible? Admittedly... <clears throat> God, this it's hard for me to hold this. Ugh, I'm trying. I'm not used to it. Ah! Admittedly... Ugh, no, that got worse, didn't it? Mm, yes, it did. We are still in the midst of testing, but we are quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruption of primals. Of the methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon scales prove the most promising. Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we have been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we will be ready to conduct a field test, and here is where you and your blessing of light come in. Uh, whatever it is, just leave it to me. What exactly is... is what exactly is it that you need me to do? Uh, better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. Um, yeah, what exactly is it that you need me to do? Kind of important to know. Oh, nothing complicated, I assure you. We ask only that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater detail later, but you will be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I would first test how well your blessing shields, with, uh, shields you, with your permission, of course. Yeah, that should be good, I think. In that case, Orianjai 
Uh, Orange and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work to the point of collapse, I su suspect you could do with more hands. We would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. <laughs> and I feel so close yet so far away. If you are ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to the right. I will meet you at the top after seeing to some preparations. Good luck with the test. I shall remain here to assist the other alchemists. Yeah, that's closer to what I want. Okay, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me look around a little and see if I can't see Thancred and Ori. And maybe he's stunning. If he's alive, that is. Barpasa, that's not it. Hello, Jugmonger. Tell me, have you things? Hmm. Not quite. Nothing helpful to me at this time, at least. Hmm. Let me check my gear. Hello, Mender. Hello, Mender. Oh. Alright, I guess my white mage was being used for the bonus stuff, huh? I don't think I can see Ankrad and Ori. Oh, shoot, I took a slightly wrong turn there. Shoot. Nope, no friendos to be found. That's fine. It's done. But next time, I swear to God. No, I'm kidding. Drunken Deepa. You see a lantern designed in the local style. Is that the local style? It doesn't feel like the local style. It's missing far too much color. I hope you didn't have trouble finding this place or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to physical strain. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night. The drunken Deepa. A Deepa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from the tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. Upon activation, it will move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of ether. In lieu of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe ether sickness. Oh, great, not again. I got this. For your test, you will be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you are ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. To reduce the risk of accidental exposure, the drunken depot will emit a blast only after it has moved a certain distance. Follow it closely and bathe in the ether four times. Oh, it talks. Uh, I guess just like a elegant cue. <clears throat> commencing etheric exposure testing. Repeat, commencing etheric exposure testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Follow the Dragon Deepa's lead and try not to fall behind. Oh, he fast. You trying to audition for Jimmy John's or something? Because you fast. You trying to be the next Sonic? Because you go, go, go. Reading Ether, please stand back. Hugs it. 
Readying ether. Please stand back. Okay, okay, I'm moving back. Ready to discharge. Oh, okay. Warning, discharging ether. Oh god, it's so bright. It's like light. Ah! Flashes back to the first. No! You're struck by a powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. Very good. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. Ready, Ether, please stand back. Enough. Ready to discharge. Test subject. I keep missing what it says. No. You are struck by another powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. Dos mas. Two more. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. Chicky chicky bum bum. Why did that come to mind? Test subjects, please gather near. Oh, that's what he said. Okay. You are struck by yet another powerful blast of ether, but suffer no ill effects. The blessing of light appears to be keeping you safe from harm. Very good. Let us be off one more time. Namas. Subject fortitude rated. Impressive. No irregularity. Uh, no irregularities. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. Heard. I think we're essentially running in a circle. Even though there was a hill, so it didn't quite feel as like a flat circle. But it was. It was. Just a circle. You are struck by the strongest blast of ether yet, but survive completely unscathed. Etheric exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to the supervising alchemist. Congratulations on retaining your composure and your humors. <laughs> Ah, you have returned! And not on your knees. A promising sign. But come, let me take the Deepa off your hands. A little deeper. Drunken Deepa. Uh, having exhausted all of its ether, the Drunken Deepa is now having a well-earned rest. Oh, very good. You can get a lantern minion that follows you around. It hops behind you. Thank you. I shall replenish its ether for when we test the talisman. So, no dizziness, or nausea, or anything of the sort. You're feeling perfectly fine. Yes, ma'am. Then the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There is no risk that the tower will corrupt your ether. With this, we can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. Very good. I appreciate her testing to make sure I'm not going to drop dead the second I get to- Well, okay, I wouldn't drop dead from walking next to the tower. I'd be immediately corrupted and then start attacking my friends and they would all drop dead. And that would be just as equally bad. <laughs> no, no, man. Alright. One, two, three, four. One more quest. Yeah, we can do this, I think. I hope. God, I hope. Hey, fairy, away. Just for Stop sounding like I'm murdering you, child. Mmm! You're just a very bright spot, and it's hurting my eyes. Nitana is so lovely. She's wonderful. Shadowed footsteps. Nitana regards you with those eyes you could drown in. 
Hmm. You are a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with another errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink, but we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it, spirit weed. The herb grows not far from here, and I would like to go and harvest some. But the recent spat of kidnappings, however, we Argus Adora travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as my escort? I would compensate you for your troubles, of course. I'm still working on the accent. I am in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to Kaljaya's footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. Bothers me that I don't know it well enough. I mean, it's fine. No voice actor is perfect after all. To the east, to the east, to the east. How many yachts? 490. Oh, yeah, it's like out here. Ish. Dang. My usual pattern is just grabbing ether currents as I go. Or before I even, like, fully unlock the zone. It's not working. There's the sadness. But it shall abate. Um. Arabi? No. They? Wait. Am I using English wrong? I certainly feel like I am. It'll subside. There! That's the word I'm looking for. Abide, subside. I was in the right direction. Half of the right direction. I I may simply be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. Oh, look out! I don't need my fire for this. I don't need to move either. Fools! You activated my trap card! It doesn't hit the same when I'm not an Astro. Anyway, they're dead, so, you know, they fell for it. Good enough. Gods that gave me a fright to think that the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work. Think the sisters I asked you to come with me. You're all right, I hope. Good, good. Let's continue on then. It isn't far now, just through these pillars and up the rise. And here we are, Kajaya's footsteps. Kajaya was a great dancer, and those who follow in her, well, you know, footsteps. They come to this place to train and dedicate their dance to the ancestors. To their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I will set about harvesting at once if you would be so good as to stand guard. The kidnappers aren't like to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, murder tends to have the effect. Or have that effect. Oh, I probably knocked them. Well, did I knock them unconscious or did I have to murder them? I don't know. I don't know. I'll gather the herb as quickly as I can. Please, stand guard for me. Ah. Oh. Working on the accent, slowly but surely. Ah!
Yes, that would be Raj Zadhan. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Do you trust the satrap? Or what can you tell me of the satrap? Yeah, what can you tell me of him? Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzadhan. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasodra. Arkasodra. I would say Arkasodora. I guess I pronounce it literally. Arkasodra. Although with that pronunciation, I wouldn't be able to spell it now. <laughs> when the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasodra with whom they joined forces. Together, they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. It was a direct ancestor of the present satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. Very good. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position. You see, by and large, the state is run by the people. But when problems arise, it is the satrap who mediates a solution. Perspective. The stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed Raz at Han to thrive all these years. And it was the Satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty. We will not fail him, nor our countrymen. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. Fucking Daniel, get out of here. I come all this way to admire one of my splendid towers, and what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What was that man's name? Oh, something. Oween? Oh, another body, another time. Who could be expected to remember every trivial detail? Uh. Hmm. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans would be counterproductive to my plan. Get out of here. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned, for we cannot escape the nature of our souls. And I, as ever, am my own worst enemy. We'll see about that. I, you might find I'm a worse one. Make sure of it. You trust Natana with your kids? Yeah, she does seem like she could entertain them somehow. Be like, I need to get this work done, but I also need to entertain kids. Hmm. I've got it. I'll teach them experiments of their own that are safe for them. <laughs> She'd be like the fun babysitter who comes around every now and again. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ben 
Magneto's a good villain, you know? He's... They voice him. The voice actor is very good at voicing him. <clears throat> in a way that makes him very punchable. And that's good for a villain, right? You want your villain to be obnoxious enough and, like, bad enough that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna punch him. I'm gonna punch him. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> huh? Would come back seeing the kids crawling on her and she has no control but takes care of them all the same. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. We just see them in different places, like on her shoulders, grabbing onto her arm, one's hugging her leg, and it's like, yeah, this looks about right. <laughs> <clears throat> Meanwhile, she's just like lifting her leg or her arm up into the air, like, woo, and the kid's giggling like I'll hug it. <laughs> I have enough spirit weed to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work, shall we? <clears throat> Nirana comes off as very caring. Very smart and also very caring. Which is like... Possibly not what you think of when you think of the word alchemist. When you think alchemist, you're probably like, Oh, they're one step away from mad scientist. Meanwhile, all of the alchemists are just like, huh? <laughs> if it's not their research, they're just like normal people. If it is research related, they're, they're scary as shit. And they have that like, typical, oh shit, it's an alchemist kind of vibe. Mad scientist go burr. But then all of their experiments are for good. <laughs> <laughs> Bad fucking Daniel, man. Nope. Uh, I keep almost falling off the bridge because I tried to take too tight a turn there. Ooh. Hey. Rashan, where have you gone? Friends? Where are my friends? Ooh. My thanks again for your assistance. <clears throat> With your help, we. Uh, we're that little bit closer to completing our talisman. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my gratitude. There's a blue quash. I will wait, I will wait, I will wait. You're behaving. A boy's errand. Little does Nidhana know that she's about to send you on another errand. No! Not an errand! No, I'm kidding. If you will excuse me, I shall return to my work on the talisman. Ah, you are both back. Excellent. <clears throat> I have a message for you, Mistress Nithana. It would seem the stores of Giant Scar are running low. What? But when last I looked, they were still plenty. I suspect that was before Orianger told everyone about their tempering cure, and Estinian shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it from me to complain. But we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you off... <clears throat> I can read. Send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. You know, because you're an actual kid. So kidnapping you would just be like, lifts off the ground slightly, walks away. <laughs> <clears throat> Loath though I am to press another task on you so soon, might I ask you to fetch the giant skull? In case you're not familiar, giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. <clears throat> yes, a child sleeping, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> the quarry where it is found, aptly named giant skull grounds, isn't far away. So it shouldn't take much of your time. 
may we impose upon you once more? Leave it to me. Thank you. Upon arriving at the grounds, please seek out a man named Zenuha. He will furnish you with the ore. At the very least, permit me to accompany you. It so happens I have an errand of my own that will take me to the outpost nearby. May we borrow a pair of Hamsa, Mistress Nidhana? Oh, by all means! Do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in training. I will bring the Hamsa to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. Maybe rolling my arms too heavy here. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> Despite his tender years, Varshan is thoughtful and dependable. It's easy to see why he was chosen to, the, uh, to be the satrap's attendant. I got a little bit of hiccups. Not the hiccups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here are our Hamsa. If the creatures look familiar, it is because they are close kin to your Eorzean dodos. Hamsa have long been kept. Uh, kept as livestock in Thovna, and many a hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of these was recently raised by monsters from the tower. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the Radiant Host repurposed its remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and your own destination is but a stone's throw away. <clears throat> if you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. We set forth at your word. Let me drink some water. You do be a cute. Mmm. Yes, water be very good. Alright. Are you ready? Then let us depart. Oops. <clears throat> you need only ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead for yours to follow. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna fall off. Let us be off. If you haven't ridden Dodos before, be warned that they have a wobbling gait. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That spectral formation stretching out over the water is... <laughs> <clears throat> that spectral formation stretching out over the water is called Kadka, a word which means sword. This sword, legend holds, was wielded by the Manyusa against the Merga before it was cast down at conflict's end. To the left, and requiring no introduction, is the tower. As you can see, it straddles a small island. Almost there. Though the main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff, the outpost itself is on the beach.
Do you think they're called Hamsa Handlers? Or are they Hamsa Handlers? <laughs> so anyway. And here we are. Manned by the Radiant Host, this outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. Hamster handler. No! Hamsa! Hamsa! I can see how you can make confusion with hamster. Oh. <laughs> well, well. Who should it be but Yon Varshan? On an errand for the satrap. <clears throat> I am. His Excellency bade me come to collect your report. He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty. But we are honored to receive His Excellency's, Excellency's regard. I can talk. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. Your predecessor, too, often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since you took over. I wonder how the fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the satrap is unwavering. But still, I worry for you. Very true. Potion, very true. Just in time for Dawn Trail, right? We would be overcome with sadness if something were to befall you, for you are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? Aww. I will, Napdin. Thank you. And who might this be? Not Hanish, by the look of him. How'd you know? Permit me to introduce him. Of the Aorzian contingent, come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Aorzia, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn something of value, I believe. Oh, God. You're right. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. We would be glad for any tidings you can share. Fair. You two, bring Vars Sean the latest report and answer any questions he may have. Look at his stumpy tail. A baby. A baby because he baby. <laughs> so cute though. <laughs> they they emphasize the whole their kids thing with like smaller tails for the Ara or for um, the Makote. It's so cute. Very fitting. All appears quiet with the tower at the moment. I dare say the soldiers won't mind if you approach them. And it is a... just a peacekeeper. Amsa. This is the fellow that carried you hither. Its breathing is somewhat ragged, perhaps due to its inexperience as a mount. That's fair. The last monster that came out of the tower laid waste to the hatchery, slaughtering many good Hamsa. Poor creatures didn't deserve it. I like your hairstyle, my dude. Like the hair coloring? They go very well together, actually. Hopefully. Anyway. Oh, 
Ah, I've heard about you, the visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Talafuroi? Yeah. We know that they're the ones behind the tower and that they've declared war on the whole world. But why are they doing this? What is it that they want? This we don't understand. They want to kill everyone. What? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet that we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean and Forestern brothers. Aww, he called us brothers. Ugh, those demented fools. If they want to go to hell, they can bloody well arrange their own passage and leave the rest of us out of it. Right? It's not exactly fair to take out the whole world. Fucking Van Daniel. Van fucking Daniel. You wish to know about the tower? To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This Tower of Zot, as folk have taken to calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Nurner. We're safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far into the water and you'll expose yourself of its corrupting ether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Our struggles are not unique, then our hopes still lie with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. When the tower first appeared, we sent scouts on a boat to investigate, but it quickly became apparent that something was amiss. One after another, our comrades were corrupted. We could only look on in horror as they slew each other. Oh. Wait, what did Varshan say before I start going over here again? V. Fries. Oh, right. right, right, right. <laughs> I forgot he was just telling me it's quiet so it's safe to approach. Ah. Okay. Ah, hold on. <clears throat> Got it. I was opening up the other end of the honey stick so I can finish eating it. It occurs to me I have yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with heretofore unknown threats such as now. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What are the towers in Eorzea? Do they likewise spawn monsters? My yummy stick! Mine! Mine! It's very yummy though. 10 out of 10, do recommend every time. It's easy to get addicted to them though, I feel. Or maybe I just like honey too much. I used to be a lot worse when I was younger, though, so... I'm just glad I had better control over it, I guess. <laughs> it used to be the same with pickles, too. You, you would give me a jar of pickles, and I'd have them done within, like, 30 minutes or less. And still be wanting more. Actually, I think I finished them in 15 minutes and less. Not the point! I got better as I got older. I was like, wait... But no more pickles. Only eats one or two at a time from now on. <laughs> Buy some next time while I'm at the store now. Do it. Do it. Do it. So it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling. We cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. So sad. But true. My thanks not only for the information, but for accompanying Valshan besides. While he's wise beyond his years, he's still a child, and we couldn't bear to see him come to harm. Mm -hmm. That's fair. He's the little brother of them all. I love it, he's precious. Finish speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was as enlightening that, uh, for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub both, Razatan ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. 
Alas, the stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Admits the death of information. Or sorry, admits the dearth of information. Everyone will be, uh, would have been grateful for your account. But come, you had best see to your original errand. As mine will keep me here a while longer, however, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need but follow the road east. Upon the Hamsa you will arrive before you know it. Brief thought was I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. Aww, he's such a good kid. Lest you have forgotten. To get to the giant scar grounds, you need but follow the road east. Hamsa should deliver you there quite quickly. <laughs> Though the Hamsa appears to want to return home, it reluctantly offers you back. It offers you its back. Huh? Should you become separated from your speed? Oh my god. Uh, I have been tongue tied. Okay. Should you become separated from your steed, speak with the radiant beastkeeper at the Hamsa Hatchery to mount it again. Yes. Oh, okay. I have to guide it this time. Follow the road to the east. I think it's this way. God, I hope so. Um, maybe not. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah, it's this way, sort of. Man, I need to kill those, but if I get off the mount, it doesn't count as me completing the thing. A star might. Sounds like a Pokemon. A star me, you know. Oh, I know that's something else. Hmm. No sooner do you arrive at your destination than the hamster dashes off. Well, hopefully it goes home. Let me double back slightly so that I can get that hunt so I don't forget. Probably I'll have to kill most. I'm guessing two, though. Hmm. I had a feeling it was on me too, and I leveled, so I was switching to Sage. Try and get this one at 82 now. Very good. Unfortunately, I have to kind of ignore the ether currents right now. Like, I think there's one close to where I'm going, but a lot of the ether currents, it's just telling me about the ones that are over here where I can't go until later in the expansion. So it's like, shit. It's very confusing, in other words. So I'm just gonna worry about it more later. Um, that way I don't keep trying to like run to them and then it's a dead end because that gets annoying real fast. There should be one here though. 
if I remember correctly. The question is where? I feel like it was up here. Oh, there it is. See, I'm not crazy. This time. Hee <laughs> hee. I was thinking it was a little higher up, but this works. And I can't get up. Budge. My phone and I can't get up. I need life alert. I mean, at least I'm not Uri and I know how to swim. Oh, I don't have the ether compass on these bars. Collection, 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 collection. There it is. Two hundred seventy-eight yum southeast. Yeah, it's over there. So it's just gonna keep flagging me for the other side. Ugh, I wish it didn't. I mean, it makes sense that it does, but oi, you know. Hi, this is indeed the Giant Skull's ground, and I am Zen, uh, Zenuha. Is there something you require? Giant Skull for the Alchemist, you say? <laughs> but of course they shall have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and tis the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Very good. I'm close enough. Mm, two more. I got this. We might even make the dungeon today. Hell yeah. Tipping the scale. Uh, Zenua has a sack of giant skull for you. Here you are, a sack of the purest giant skull. We always set some aside for our alchemist friends. Aww, you guys are awesome. When you deliver it, let the good folk of the great work know that we're grateful for their efforts. If they need more, they need but ask. Thanks, my dude. Payment. <laughs> you needn't worry. The satrap will see us compensated. But even if he did not, we wouldn't hesitate to provide what we can. We're in this fight together, after all. I love them here. The people of... of, um... Thavnir are very good beans. Oh, wait, I shouldn't go with the umbrella. I should go with this one. I was gonna just teleport over, but then I realized I still have a spot on this side of the map that's... blanked out, so... Might as well ride. I'd say it look good while doing it, but that's not why I chose this. I chose this because it's faster. To the west, really? That's not getting confused? Bless. All right, let me get it. I don't know where it is. It's in something yams to the west. I missed it. I mizzled it. 89 yams to the west. So would it be down here then? The perfumed- oh, I, I'm getting my words mixed up. I thought it said something else. I thought it said the perfumed egg and I don't know why, but I was about to start giggling. Oh wait, it is on my bars. I'm a fool. And such a convenient location too, how could I? The F community is lovely as long as they're not trying to scam you. I mean, they're only trying to do it because hard times. I feel like anybody would suddenly do that here though. You know what I mean? Wait, what? What do you mean to the- You just said the- Ugh, some of these are worse than others. I'm on a hill. North and east. On that hill? Oh, was it? I'm just gone past it because I was trying to avoid uh, things that aggroed me. There it is. South and east. Did that say four hundred and forty? Four hundred and twenty. So, it's either here, here, 
Hmm. My calculations feel off. It is a guesstimate after all. Yeah, it's over here. There we go. Very good. Walrus. Oh, hello, Walrus. One moment while I kill you. Sorry, not sorry. I must, you see. It's not a loathing for you that I feel. It is not but something I must do. Whether I like it or whether it's ideal. I needed only one. Very good. Nope. Oh, look, my card link. Smiles. Check it out. Check it out. Mm. 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 I made it. In a bit. Ah, welcome back! There, I hope you have the giant skull. Sack of giant skull. I have been sack filled to the brim with chunks of the purest giant skull. Oh my, such fine specimens! Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype. One that should be capable of passing our most rigorous tests. R rigorous tests, oh my god. When it is ready, it will be time for the true test. So please, take your ease while you can. <sighs> I will, if you voice this, which I think you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the music in this expansion. Ah. Mm -hmm. I know they won't go away. Not for certain. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Of course. It's not our research, after all. They're not cruel. They're just determined. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They mm. are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. Hell yeah. They're admirable. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. Hmm. They had better be, or all this effort was for naught. <laughs> the peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavner, 
Children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? Mm. They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. True. <laughs> The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Hmm. Poetic and ominous to a fault. True. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you'd think. Hmm. Van Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. That is a wording. And yet, when spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. Mm. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. True. Me looking at the two orphans who are talking. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment, as you have. Mm. Looks at the expansion of Heaven's Word. Mm. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. Mm. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Mm. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. <laughs> Fair. As will I. Besides, our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. <laughs> Fan fucking Daniel, get your ass out of here. And there I go. What is it? What did you see? Van Daniel, are you mm -hmm. sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. Speaking of, I think they made a breakthrough. And you're standing very obviously behind you, pretending you cannot be seen. Yeah. At long last. Look. We have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. Hell yeah. We've named it a warding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. 
Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. True. We're making leaps and bounds with the historical uh, significances recently. Curing people of being uh, under the influence of a primal and making it so we can't get influenced by a primal. Man, we're going for the record here. Oops. There we go. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. That's a fair request. Right, Alcor? It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me. Or knock me senseless. Fair. And then we just have to purify you. As it were. Oh, you need an ask now. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Mm -mm. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Aww. Thank you. Why is she so Nana, sweet? I, I... Are you certain you wish to do this? She's a badass in her own right. Mwah. If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. Mwah. I forget. <laughs> it's everything to catch these hands, yeah. <laughs> But, should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? Aww. We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming hmm. Fandaniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us, or you. Be on your guard. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. Right, Alcorn? I wholeheartedly agree. So intimidating, that not? Large, large tower. Almost kind of looks like a sword hilt. Not gonna lie. Oh, we're here. <clears throat> the satrap has granted you, the, 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 granted you the use of this boat. May it serve you well. This is a rather finer boat than I had expected, but I won't complain. All that remains is to board and be on our way. Oh, and if I should become corrupted, do not stay your hand. Of course, I pray it does not come to that, but you must protect yourself. Our other alchemists can fulfill my role, but you and your blessing are one of a kind. Perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. 
For all our sakes, do not hesitate to do what must be done. Whatever that may be. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. Yes. Thank you. I am trying my bestest. <laughs> Who's steering this thing, we by the way? soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. <laughs> I hope she knows how to sail, because I sure don't. <laughs> Any moment now. Yay! It's working! And you... You are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hopefully nothing horrible happens. We don't know what's inside this tower after all. It seems we're all good to go though. Okay, we're a little close now. So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. I feel like we're getting a little close here. Why are we so far away from her? That doesn't seem like good guard qualities. Steps. to the sisters we made it and the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be yeah now we can focus on production once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team this menace will soon give up its secrets very good that's what we like to hear what uh so about that danger i was worried about Here I go just running in. Hey. <laughs> Potion. Not the raid chains, you're right. Oh my god, quick span your keyboards. Don't let it don't let it get us. <laughs> oh, this is ominous and horrible. I hate it here. <clears throat> ben Daniel, you son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. You prick. Stop. Oh, you can't do this. Please. Damn it. It's barely too late. Ugh. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Not late and or too late to punch you in the face, though. Hmm. The similarities are striking. Hmm? My, my, such hostility. <laughs> Never before has my artistry so displeased. Mm-hmm. Extra now. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. Xenoms must be an absolute thrill and change of pace for you, then. Shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> patrons of old, what are you talking about? Yeah, patrons of old? 
Zukunft might you mean? <clears throat> Ugh. Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. True. Fine, do tell. I'm still gonna punch you afterwards, but I do like information. I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days, theoretically speaking. Yes. <clears throat> Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Hmm. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. Oh, so you're just a natural psychopath. Cool, good to know. <laughs> How to explain? Perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. Go ahead, go ahead, spill it. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an elegant ruin or two. Yes? Mm hmm. Go on. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old me. Oh, frickin' Echo. Really? Um, um, at your service. You son of a bitch. Fucking a man. Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Existence fulfilled. And ripe for decay. Well, that took a turn. You are a genius without peer, Amon. <clears throat> However do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. Wow, that's fucked. Oh, oh, oh the memory of it. <laughs> My poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed <clears throat> by laughter we struggled to breathe. That's, that's, I don't like them. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all-consuming work. But it was not their only indulgence. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend, our first and greatest emperor. And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards. Always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon. No matter how vast one's empire or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. Mm. In the end, all is lost. Mm. You know 
know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim you. Hi, Emmy. Miss you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Mm. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic as the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. Mm. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? Damn, he took that moment to leave. Ah, freaking Echo. So easily or not. distracted. Why? 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 I almost, I almost left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell. As for As your, your friend, friend, you need to worry. worry. These pawns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the primates. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So, enjoy tackling that conundrum with your comrades. Enjoy tackling the idea of you getting absolutely bitch slapped into the next century. Hmm. We shall meet again. My spies. Oh, no, no. But somewhere more suitably grandiose. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. When your stalker is lazy, so he sends another stalker to come stalk you. That's basically Xenos and Fandanyo. <clears throat> ah, you are returned, but where is Mistress Nidina? Er, Nidhana. I don't know why I said her name, though. Manusa Preserve. Just when we had succeeded in taking- er, in making the talisman. I- I must report this at once. Please, return to the great work. See you know, gaslighting Van Dan- Van Daniel into also being obsessed with you. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Mm. Or he's fascinated by the fact that we've killed his overseers, as it were. Heh. Where's the rest of the team? Where where's Uri and and Stinny? There's Uri. Very good. And there's Stinny, okay. We'll go to Stinny first. I don't think Rashawn's here. No, okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Bad tidings, I take it. <laughs> Low pitches gotta go burp. <laughs> Thy Daimina bespeaketh consternation. In other words, he's saying I look like something bad happened. Just fancier. Hello, 
welcome in. Um, I just your name closer. My <laughs> one screen's a little far. To homie? Is that how I see you? Or is there a nickname I can call you? If I said it wrong. Something's gone awry, hasn't it? What happened? Hey! Excellent, I'm glad to hear it. How are you today? Welcome in. <clears throat> so, it was Fan Daniel after all. Damn that bastard. I'm sure you wanted to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily, lest we endanger Nidhana and the other captives. Why do I feel like I got a weird accent right at the end there? <laughs> <laughs> the satrap of Razatan. Thangred is wearing a grim expression. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, Nidhana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh, lovely. <clears> hmm. <throat> this one had a really thick accent. I don't know if I can manage. Odnithana! That was terrible. Anyway. He did a sob. Can you answer me this? Though Nidhana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? <laughs> then... Then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. <laughs> the prototype works perfectly. This Nidhana proved a peril to herself. So let us make more scales. That she and all those who were taken might be saved. Aye, Alchemist, this is how we will help win the fight. Very good, I like their determination. Through and through. My friends, the Satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all that you require. To that end, he bade me give you this link power, that he might personally discuss the production of warding scales with you. <clears throat> and for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress Nidhana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. This fact came to the Subtrop's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, Will you not accompany me to Razatan for an audience with His Excellency? <clears throat> of course we will. We should be honored, of course. <clears throat> Closer cooperation between our lands can only be of the benefit to all. Then it is settled. Please, come to the gates east of the Giant Skull grounds, and I will show you into the city. Yay! We get to go to the most colorful city of all, Razatan. Okay. It do be colorful though. Should I guys? Should I show you guys a secret while we're there? You guys like secrets, right? Secrets, Pog. Although some of you may know the secret. <clears throat> Although, granted, once I unlock um. Actually, when can I unlock the Endwalker sightseeing log? Because I'll need to go back up there. So I guess I can show you the secret twice. <clears throat> or I could wait. Does anyone remember when that unlocks? Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I suppose I could try looking it up, but it'll be hard to do. Run. Uh, and fucker sight 
Log on what, he hello, I'm trying to type. See, this is why you don't text and drive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know whomst and where. I need to know when. Eh. No, I, you just told me this. I just said no. No, not how. When? I will fight you. This is starting at level 80, but... When does that quest unlock is what I'm asking, you fool! <laughs> Aha! I found the answer. So, apparently, it was available starting when, um... <clears throat> we got the option to choose which way to go, and I just didn't notice it. Which is on the docks. Very good. <clears throat> All right, so wait, can I? I don't know if I can access the teleport right away. <clears throat> I don't think I can access the teleport right away. When do I unlock? Yeah, I don't unlock the teleport to Razahan in a hot minute. So, I'm gonna... I don't know for sure that it lets me, though. What if my info is wrong? <clears throat> Only one way to find out. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna look. Worst case, I just drive my butt back here, and then I don't get... Or without it, you know? <clears throat> nope, it's there. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. My info is correct. Very good. I love correct info. I got cough. I'm good. <clears throat> Hello, Iron Hall. Big pardon, good sir. I could scarce help but notice that sightseeing log on your person. You wouldn't happen to be the adventurer my niece wrote about, would you? <laughs> ah, so it is you. Please, uh, please to make your acquaintance. I'm Babbeth Ironheart, Miller's aunt and season explorer. Be dear and hand me that log of yours. Miller told me all about how she helped you embark on explorations of your own, so it's only right that I share with you some winsome, er, some wisdom of my own. Hmm. Words. Heart. Let me see here. Oh, I can't forget to mention that one. And done. <clears throat> you should be all set, dear. I've jotted down everything I've heard about the most remarkable vistas the realm has to offer. 
But of course, a few notes I've shared are not more than rumours. I'm describing locales so fantastical that I can barely believe they exist. But as I always say, the true joy of exploration lies not in the destination, but in the journey. So go forth, dear. <clears throat> and see what sort of journey these hints take you on. That sightseeing log of yours won't fill itself, you know. True. Okay. Gazing out upon the ocean like this sets my adventurous spirit ablaze. Myriad wonders are simply waiting to be discovered. Why not venture forth and find them? I've clearly gone past some because, you know, I didn't get into just now. There were some in Labyrinthos and some over by the Great in various other places. But you know, it is all right. It is all right. <laughs> this means I'll show you the secret only once, so you better be paying attention when I get there. I could have sworn there was a lookout point over here. Could have sworn, could have sworn. Ah, well, I tried. Definitely a survive of a place that would have a lookout point. Oh well. just on the edge. Very good. I'm about to get attacked. Or not. JK, LMO. Amazing. Very good. Onwards! Okay. Almost there. When last I visited, the city was brimming with life. I expect the towers dampened the mood somewhat. 
Be it here or in Eorzea, all share in the desire to deliver the captives. Thus united, I pray that we may join in common cause with the Satrap. Of the Satrap, I know only the common tidbits. That though the position is hereditary, he is not considered a sovereign, and that despite possessing considerable authority, he wields it spavingly. Given the East... Uh, given the esteem in which the locals hold him, however, it's safe to assume he's good at his job. We could do far worse for an ally. True rule. All present. Then, let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert, and, rest and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been granted special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze. Bearing down like a second midday sun. Red spoiler alert. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. The Razatan. But no such scenes to savor now. To what somber present does that divine eye bear witness? Here we are, Megaduta. Megaduta. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. Mm, maybe I'll have to show you guys the thing at a later time. Then. Oh. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems our tour of the city will have to wait. Mm. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Ah, splendid, most splendid. 
Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzat Han. Ahawan. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the Warding Scale. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. But Nidhana, she was taken. Um, not everything went to plan. Yeah, but Nidhana, she was taken. A regrettable incident indeed. Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nidana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I think not. Mm. This charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. Hmm. As you wish. Heaven's word music. You Thanks. travel as assistants to the students of Valdesia. But you are known to me. <laughs> Even here have we heard of the scions of the seventh dawn. Ah shit, they're onto us. <laughs> We're famous, guys. I oh no. I am Vritra. And for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Hi, Vitra. Vritra, of the first brood, sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. That's the one. I, mine elder brothers, of Midgard Sormer's spawn, I was last to hatch. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a satrap's own hall. <laughs> Right. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, adopting the example of their Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the great worm endured. Until Marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state which was to grow into Rad's Athan. But if Ritra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... Hmm. A charade, yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Hi, Spirit. Good afternoon. How are you? Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, 
and the fires of war would burn without end. Mm. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Mm, fair spirit. Your eye. It was taken. Tis here, buried within a semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. Ah, that would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. Hmm. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short-lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Estinian warm blood. <laughs> From the very first, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. True. That is all I need know of thee for now. Fair enough. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first brood, but as the ruler of Rad's Adam. With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. Yet even with the assurance of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the tower doth limit the size of our force. True. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Hmm. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a surer path before me. That's fair. Just send us. Why not? Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. This is true. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods in Pagalthan and Kartanal, I am told. Facts. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. Okay. Talismans would, of course, be provided for each of thy companions. Ooh, we definitely can't pass up that. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. Very good. I see only benefits. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Oh, yeah. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. Right. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Seems wise. Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go. Steal your hearts and hone your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Yeah. Will thou <laughs> not lend thine aid?
Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, I see no reason to refuse. Nor will I. Aww. Hell yeah. After action. Oh, they kicked me out. I can't show you guys the secret yet until they let me in the city proper. That we should encounter one of the first brood in such a circumstance. Uh, uh, if our course of action is decided, let us not tarry. No secret today. No secret. That meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but we now have a clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades in Charlayan and must uh, a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Salt. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to attune to the Aetherite here before departing. Unless, of course, you enjoy violent nausea. No. No, I don't. Hello, Mr. Gorsman? My apologies, but given that the city is currently in a state of alert, I cannot let you proceed past this point. Damn it. Mr. Guardsman on to me. No secret. No secret. Next time I come to Razatan. Well. Next time it lets me into the city proper. I will go ahead and show you guys the secret. The secret. I ran into the crystal without the game, but I actually need to go into the building. Okay, good job, me. Oh, yeah, some ender. I don't think I need one. Nope. <laughs> Just all in cutscenes. <laughs> oh, I thought I clicked. Okay, let's see. No, it looks like everything's the same. Yeah. Vitra and his alchemists have prepared for us. Er, sorry, have prepared us for a foray into the tower. What we may accomplish within its twisted halls remaineth to be seen. The Arca Sordra languish in Tlothroi chains. Oh, that Arca Sordra languish in Tlothroi chains doth forewarn us of the nature of our foe. Tis the gods of Thavner who be summoned to thwart us. I don't know where Stenian is. He doesn't appear to be in this room, though. Just as I was about. Er. <laughs> Just as I was getting used to balmy Thavna, we're back in chilly Charlene. Take care not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, everyone appears to be here, so let us take stock of all the developments and discoveries. I return by way of Kit's experimental etheride, yet I must say it was far less taxing than our first attempt, and apparently we need only ask if we wish to use it again. Now, I'm not terribly eager to repeat the experience, but if you're willing to test your theoretical fortitude for the sake of technological advancement, then who am I to stop you? What the hell is this standing? Ah. Making sure you didn't change what he was saying. 
in the dark of the tower, in the dark of the night, Eva will find her, find her. There's a reference. Anyway. In the dark of the tower, Cryo glances at you with expectant eyes. <laughs> yeah, I got time. Hell yeah, let's go. Since there has been progress in both investigations, shall we share the findings from our respective locales? Please. Your time in Safnir has certainly been eventful. Hmm, yeah. In my opinion, carrying out Vitra's request and assaulting the Tower of Zot should be our highest priority. Yeah, I concur. I agree. While I still have questions concerning the Forum and their grand undertaking, mm. we have all but exhausted our avenues of investigation. True. Simply pressing them any harder on the subject will almost certainly result in our expulsion. Therefore, I suggest we explore the Ethereal Sea connection by way of a letter to Master Matoya, then make our way to Thavnair. I do like that idea. I wonder, even with the protection these talismans afford us, what can we hope to achieve once inside the tower? According to Orenvold and Fudola's report, they were unable to free the Emolja. Worse, their attempts triggered the tower's defenses, which led to a summoning of Luna Afrit. This is true. What does it tell us that the spires even have such defenses? Mm hmm. Simply pulling a prisoner from the wall is fatal. Thus, the direct approach is doomed to failure from the outset. Any further measures to dissuade such actions seem unnecessary. Yeah. That's true. Unless, of course, there is a way to free the prisoners without killing them. Then it stands to reason that any intruders will be met with overwhelming force. True, true. The towers appeared throughout the world in but the twinkling of an eye. Twas yeah. by magical means these structures were raised, I surmise. A spire thus conjured must needs be maintained. And I suspect an arcane catalyst, some manner of core, doth lie hidden within. Let's break it. Destroy the core, and the tower ceaseth to be, thus liberating the captives without harm. Excellent. So we can hope, and I would prefer to enter the tower with a working theory than with no plan at all. Yeah, I concur. Assuming Ishtola's reasoning is correct, the chances of the defenses remaining dormant are small to none. Yeah. Any primals will have to be dealt with, and defeating one will likely only lead to the summoning of another. Our every victory will only compound the prisoner's suffering. Yeah. May we not then divide our forces? Oh? Those proficient in healing will focus on sustaining the captives. That duty can be covered by Uriange, Kryl, Yostola, and myself. The remaining scions will proceed with the search for the core. Admittedly, this strategy puts both parties at greater risk, but it should bolster our chances of saving the Arcosodora by a considerable margin. Are you sure Alphano is in the wrong or is in the right group, Lamo? What if Ali's is? She knows a healing spell too. Wait, aren't you forgetting someone? Alfie is a healer, but somebody's gotta heal my ass if I'm not a healer. I am a healer, so he's fine, but Ali does know a healing spell or two. Aren't you forgetting someone? Of course not. As our most talented healer. We need you leading the van, fighting primals on the front lines. Oh my god, he just acknowledged I'm a healer. I... Uh, 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 uh. I have received compliment. Alright, very good. <laughs> I love it a lot too! It seems
seems we have a plan. All that remains is to carry it out. I will inform Rads at Han of our movements, so let us make our preparations and regroup near the tower. The military post in what's left of the Hamsa hatchery should serve as a convenient staging point. That sounds perfect. And remember, the experimental etherite at the confluence is there for those who need it, so there's no excuse for being late. <laughs> I too feel sued and I'm very happy about it. Like one of those senpai notice me moments. <laughs> You saw nothing. I did not try to fly out of habit. <sighs> anyway. Ah, very good. Someone's doing their uh, beast tribe dailies. Sorry, tribe dailies. Though that it's also clear they don't have fly. Well, Friend of Eorzea, we've been expecting you. You and yours will lead the mission into the tower, I'm told. Warden scares will be delivered soon. Till then, please stand by at the boat we have readied. When your fellows arrive, I will direct them to join you. We pray for your safety and success. Thank you. The Saptra trusts you and yours to lead the mission, and you must be formidable warriors indeed. Glad are we to count you as allies. <laughs> Everyone's big brother, Nabdeen. Yeah, pretty much. He he do be a big brother. If this is the future of Etherite travel, I think I'll stick to boats. I... <clears throat> no warning, however emphatic, could have prepared me for that. Mm. On account of which, we are a little late, but fighting fit, mostly. Uh-huh. Russian! Vitra, mini edition. My friends, permit me to thank you for accepting this mission. You must be him. Um, should we still call you Varshan, I suppose? Indeed, it would not do to confuse our soldiers. Very well, then. 
For our part, we are humbled that you should see fit to entrust us with your warding scales. Please, convey as much to His Excellency. One for each of you. Pray, accept them with my blessings. Ah, oh, thanks. With these, we can go anywhere those with the blessing of light can go. Not only for this operation either, but all the ones to come. We can finally break your monopoly on primals. Lamal. No, bad, Sira. Bad. No boss fight. <laughs> How are you today, though? No. It's a loadable. No. I've been waiting for this day. I haven't been carrying on us before, you know? In that case, they're all yours from now on. No, I'm kidding. I've been waiting for this day. You're good? Good. I'm glad to hear it. So have we, my friend. <clears throat> so have we. Yay. If everyone is amenable to it, let us review the strategy for good measure. As previously agreed, we will divide into two groups. You and your band will break through the tower's defense and locate its core. Meanwhile, the rest of us will tend to the prisoners, who would doubtless want for healing due to the duress of repeated summary, uh, summonings. The primals which the tower bringeth forth shall be the deities of Thavnerian myth. As we have no prior experience with such foes, pray exercise the utmost caution when confronting them. We commence the operation at your word, my friend. For the people of Thavner, nay, the entire world, we must prevail. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Tower of Zod, now accessible. Forget your duty finder. We're heading to duty support. I'm bringing the homies with me. Hi, homies. I can't bring these homies, but I love them all the same. This is the closest I've ever been to one of the towers. Such a sinister aura it exudes. It's been a while since last I took to the field, and I can't help but feel nervous. But with everyone at my side, I'm sure all will be well. Hmm? Nice caution when I mean, you could just leave where Jenkins it. No! <laughs> the homies do be homieing? Yes, exactly. Lest you worry, I've not forgotten my healing spells. Be it restoration or destruction, this sorceress can command whatever magic the situation requires. Aside from primals within the tower, we shall for certainty encounter enthralled Imperial soldiers. Defenders conveyed hither by means unknown, who will stop at nothing to hinder our efforts. Though our parties are separate, I will trust in you, as I know you will trust in me. Always, Waha. Let us both give it our all and add another rousing chapter to the saga. Of course. Sorry, I heard the Amazon stuff in the distance come on. I didn't know if my roommate was about to blast music or not, so I just muted for a sec. <laughs> the Radiant Host and I will be watching from the outpost, ready to act at the first sign of unusual activity. May the scales serve you well and protect you in lieu of Vitra's feints and claws. Aww. Yeah, it do be what it do be. Dooby doo, where are you? Okay. <laughs> With Ishtola keeping them company, the other party will be able to hold their own against the enemy if needs be. So we can tackle our own task without worrying over them. Come, let us be about it. 
First this armor, blessed with Radatoska's power, and now Vitra's scale. Much has changed for dragons to show me such favor. Yeah, and... And with Nidhogg with me, in spirit and in hand, no obstacle would bar our way. I was just about to comment on that. <laughs> I may have taken up new arms, but my role is unchanged. I am a healer through and through. Yet in knowing who once wore the sage's mantle, I wonder, when all is said and done, will I look back on the battles I chose to fight with pride? I believe this dungeon is... <sighs> yeah, 81. Okay, so my reaper can't go. That's okay. That's okay. It's sad I can't bring Alfie with me, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. I got Stinny instead. My warning scare has safely tucked away. I'm ready when you are. I may not be as good as the Azure Dragoon, former or otherwise, but I guarantee that I'll give as good as I get. Aww. You haven't heard these in a while. Right then. Let's give it our all! My turn. At least he's the better twin, Lamo. Nah, they're both good. They're both very good. I love them both. Yes. They are precious beans. They must be a protect. We must protect. Those are the images of their sisters. <clears throat> oh, he's missing her arm. Yes, protect the precious. Ooh, big stretch. I do a poke. A foul place this. Let us proceed with caution. They seek to bar our path. The only way is through. Ow. What do you mean unprotected? No, that's not how that works. Not at all. No, 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 no. Not allowed. Now feeling very loud. This is just me. How are the volumes for you guys? Oops. Nope, that is that is Can I please press the right button? Okay, cool. No. How are volume starting? Hmm. Volume seems okay? Very good. And yeah, you would have to go through um. You can't do that! Oh God, oh Nidana! We'll free you from this place, I promise. You can see her there and it makes me sad. Yeah, she do be right there. I appreciate that they're helping us while they can. I sense a surge of great ether as if a summoning hath begun. You can see them coming out of the walls now. Look, those beastly masks. It's the Mun Nusa come to life. This is where our ways do part. We shall survey the halls below. We are focused on sustaining the Arcasadora. The rest of you keep going, onwards and upwards. Oh, musket. 
I'm merging up prison. Um, me slightly forgetting how to say it. Don't mind me. Tancred, please. This will hurt. I require you to be shielded, sir. I hate that I have to be close by for my AoE. Fix it. Like this one, I can be ranged. Why is my main one not ranged? Hmm? 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 Fiery Minds would like to know. Scream. Ooh, I am low on honey sticks. That's and by low I mean there's only five, so I'm more than just low. Now there's gonna be four because I'm eating another, because I can't help myself. Yummy. Okay. Mm. Ah. I'm good. Shame and shit. About to hit the boss. Shadow of the Dragon, drawn on power inherited from Nidhogg. Oh, okay. Very cool. Youngest. Um. Oh, I missed a thing. Whatever. What? Whatever this being is, we can't let it stand in our way. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> Be gone from our tower. Be gone, or become prey for the Magus. Behold our ingenious magics. Oh. I hit that late. She Mitre. You underestimate me! Dance. Dance until death claims you. Remember this dungeon being somewhat hard, actually? Yeah! Oh shit, my health. Ah, uh, fuck! Yeah, that killed me. I misclicked my sprint there just now. And boom, dead. Damn it. Why I got a misclick? There's my sprint.
it's not like obscenely hard or anything. The hardest part is actually, well, I'm used to mechanics, so that's not too, bif too difficult. Provided I hit my sprint correctly, well now. Um, I mean, alternatively, I could have dashed, but I always forget about my dash because none of the other healers have one, so. Yeah, Astro Mango Burn. No, um, I'd say the hardest part is actually the ads because um, some of these ads hit like a truck. So it can be really rough really fast, depending on the pools. Hmm. With NPCs, it's best to do it with single pools. That way everybody survives. Um, although I know plenty of people who try to just get them to pull everything and then wonder why they keep dying and then they get mad at the NPCs and I'm just like, dude, you're doing it to yourself. Relax. <laughs> Slow down. And they're like, but it takes so much slower, so much longer. And I'm like, you put yourself in that situation. It's fine. Just relax. Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy the fight. <laughs> I'm trying to get back into my siege groove. I'm so used to Astro that I kind of derp when I switch at first, and then I have to like remember how it works. <laughs> it's okay though, it's pretty easy to do for me. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be a swipe and no, 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 just a cone here, isn't it? Why are you hitting me? Oh yeah, it is a swipe and then a cone. Yeah. And then the cone. Oh, Ooh, I'm right in that. I'm good. You mine. Um, I don't have Panheimer this time. Oh, I do have that though. Or wait, which one is this? No, that one's Panheimer. I was thinking Heimer. I knew I mixed them up. Panheimer is AoE, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, I... Is it a swipe? Yes, it's a swipe. And then we have to immediately go up to this one. And then we have to dodge that. Okay. <laughs> Mood, yeah. Class would flash be real. Oh, wait, I should probably drink some orange juice. Okay, huh? There you go. Oh, shit! I didn't get. Oh, I didn't have Paima. Hi Hi Never mind. I mean, I didn't have Paima. Shoot, I keep saying them wrong. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's the one that goes out for me, isn't it? Oh, no, you're doing it from there. Okay. Haley. Then it's that. And we have to also dodge into this. My turn. There, I have a high mo. Uh, I should probably do this. Very good. Nope. So you have chosen defiance. You fought well, Alize. I was in good company. I like the interactions between them. Very good. Music as always, yeah. 
The music in this game would be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Pen, how you doing? Mm -hmm. eyes in the past few weeks oh i'm sorry i hope you feel better pen i mean that's definitely a step a step is better than no step sam yeah? Oh, sorry, thank you. Well. I I believe it, Pim. I believe it. You have had a hell of a start at the beginning of the year. spirit hmm? I'm having an unhealthy amount of fun using inappropriate metaphors in some conversations well now you know that doesn't really surprise me very good how are we to rescue everyone I missed Ali saying that. Um, wait. Eh. Eh, this, this way. So much damage, my dude. My God. You're mine. Oh my God. Such fun people who already crushed my sanity a long time ago. I can see that, yeah. Hmm. Did I say something and then make a metaphor so out of the blue that everyone questions <laughs> there and later my insanity or my sanity? Yeah, no, that's that does sound kind of entertaining. Not gonna lie. So many mobs.
Ah, uh, did I just accidentally shield myself? Yes, I did. Very good. Not. Not good. It's fine, though. Oh. The tower must be protected. We will not let it fall. If you could not, that'd be great. Ow. Move my wrist the wrong way. You will not steal away our prosperity. Oh god! Get it, get it. I have you now. Oops. Oh, wait. My turn. Very good. Oh, spare me. What nonsense is this? I miss what I'm good to him. Wait, what's wrong? You underestimate me. I have you now. Good battle music. You're mine. Damn, I was late. Ah, and I just missed No, they didn't die. Oh shit. I honestly shouldn't be dying on these, but due to my misclicking, it's not going to work. Mental gun. Show needs a dungeon. I went to shield myself. Well, no, I went to shield Ally, did it too late, therefore scuffed the timing on my shield, and when I went to do it, I misclicked anyway. Because I almost had it up in time, and then I misclicked. Damn. Well, I hate these flesh walls. Huh? Wait, what? No, Ali doesn't have shield. I do. What? No, I shielded her incorrectly. With the bad timing. I did it late. I went to Astinian first when I should have gone to Ali first. I didn't do shit. Well, nothing wrong, anyway. Yeah, no, Red Mage has no shield.
have you now. Ah, here it is. Oh, it shielded me. Er, it stopped me first. God, I wish there was a way to really know that they were gonna. Who they were gonna stop first, second, third. It's because I'm trying to greedily get my charges. We hear it. We heed it. The call to defend the tower. Wonderful. I still so love guessing games. Stop removing his shield. Oh, wait, I know. I have you now. Nah. Tick tock. Clickety clock. There you go. Oops. I just missed close to me. Oh, I'm good. Hmm. No, it's fine. There we go. If I alone cannot expel you, protect it. Protective of the tower, aren't they? Compelled by Telophoroi magics, I imagine. Nice, eh? Level. It's blue! It's blue now! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's fine. The talisman. I feel it trembling. That's weird. You mine. Oh, that's why I forgot to put. It. Oh my god. This will hurt. An idiot. Lamon. I forgot to put um, Cardia on that crib. I'm going to put in so much effort. Nah, I'm an Astro main to me, I guess. You now. My turn. No, it's not quite enough. You take too much damage. I guess I can just cardio myself instead. Ugh, this thing. There we go. 
Those things are not fun. To, not fun at all. Right, not playing with players. I'm so used to players just pulling the whole thing that I started to move and I'm like, wait a minute, no. Empty seats. <laughs> Got upgraded too, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. Very good. Thank you. Happy lurking pen. He goes. Rattling, clunky nuisances. That's fair. Okay. Make sure I didn't miss anything else. Mm Very good, Tanky. Very good. Our very own ninjas. Very good. Very good. No matter the cost, we must protect the tower. Harbingers elect the Magus sisters. You can get a minion of them. been quicker to fight all three at once. Please don't tempt fate like that. Oh, she's about to yell at him, isn't she?
You persist in your discretion. Or, sorry, desecration. Yes. Then face the full wrath of the Magus. I am... They both said I'm with you, sister. Oh, shoot, this is not the mechanic I thought it was. Do you have heavy on me or something? No? Why do I feel so clunky and slow then? <sighs> Glacial ice and Tomar foam. Or into Marco. Okay. That's what I was saying. Join with me, sisters. <clears throat> Thunderous tempest, smite our foe. Joining again? Insatiable flame consume our foe. Underestimate me! Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Ah, oh, glacial incident. So the reason I targeted this the the way that I did is because if you try to kill the other sisters, if you try to kill someone other than the oldest sister first, the younger sisters, um, the youngest and middle, uh, they just keep resurrecting throughout the fight. So, if I did the fight the way I did. You might. <laughs> You now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. My mic's closer to my face and hopefully won't pick up my room. Right no. Mm -hmm. 
That seems to have been the limit of the tower's defenses. They were nimble fighters, I'll give them that. From what I can tell, the summonings appear to be over. <clears throat> no belief is too sacred for the Tloth, Roy. I think that's what she said. I mean, you said, mm. try again. Mm. Oh, no belief is sacred to these Tloth, Roy. There we go. This is probably the core. All right, cuts in time. Is everyone all right? We fortified the captives with what magics we could. Have the defenses been disabled? All appears quiet for the moment. lower floors were disturbing enough, but this place feels wrong. The ether is heavy and thick, like wading through a quagmire. I believe we stand in the tower's beating heart. What sayest thou, Ishtola? I see it. Ether siphoned from the land runs up through the spire, flowing to a single point. This is the core we seek. Yet something is off. As large as this structure is, it siphons far more ether than is required to sustain it. Tis as if the core is feeding on the energy, consuming it. I need to take a closer look. Yeah, just don't get hurt. There is something there, embedded inside the core. A man's limb. This is what we came to destroy? Yes, if you would be so kind. Very good. And why the hell is there a limb in there? He got the hops. Damn. And that should be the end of it. Unless. Oh, cryo fell. <sighs> what now? My theory that the tower might come crashing down following the core's destruction doth appear to be correct. I mean, nice mention that sooner. And how are we supposed to survive the fall? Good question. Ah, oh, what of the prisoners below? The floor beneath our very feet dissolves. Brace yourselves. I pray I'm not too late. Come on, Raha. I do a struggle. Oh, what happened? Where are we? I'm gonna say the beach. By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood. Oh. It is as if it never existed. Hmm. Hardly a scratch, but how? Hmm. 
Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. Hmm. Which means it was an extremely intense spell. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Then the immediate problem is what to do with our new friends here. Yeah. They'll be much changed for their time in the tower. Even if their bodies are intact, I doubt we could say the same for their minds. Angelo and I will take care of that. Oh yeah, you will. Thank you, Ali. I have every faith in you, Alizé. But there are just too many for you to treat alone. That's true. We'll send at once to Eorzea for more porksies, and call on the local mages to lend a hand. Very good. Hail, Scions! Bershan! Hello, little one. We were watching the tower when it simply disappeared. What happened here? The threat is banished, and thy people delivered. Hmm. They are, however, in need of treatment, and we of a secure locale and helping hands to assist us in its provision. Yes. You shall have all this and more. Come, let us convey these unfortunate souls to the city. Aww. The Whittletail. Carrying all those Montaga may have been the true struggle. <clears throat> they do be bigger than us. Ah, you are returned. As suddenly as the tower uh, disappeared, we were gravely concerned for you and yours. I am glad to see that all is well. On behalf of the people of Razat Han, I give you my heartfelt thanks. Yes, yes, capybara, baby. Capybara, capybara. Capybara, capybara. Oh, yeah, and I got my level. Astro, you're up. <laughs> Just me rotating healers three times in a single stream. I mean, I could hand in the quest as, uh... As Sage. Keep slightly ahead. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's fine. Yeah, I can keep it on safe for the moment. Liberated. <clears throat> they water. Mm hmm. Yucky. Mm -hmm. Liberated prisoners are being transported to Razat Han for treatment. Ali Zay and Yushtola will oversee that. Uh, administration of the tempering treatment with support from those who know a healing spell or two. We'll go and join them in the city once you've had a moment to catch your breath. Very good. Um, you mean I want to go? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Jewel of Thavnir, Thancred is rested and ready to set out. 
Had enough rest, have you? You never were one for being idle. Right. Varshan bade us come to the Megaduta. Yeah. At our earliest convenience. Oh. The others will join us there once they have finished attending to the prisoners. Ah, wait. On second thought, you and Estinian should go on ahead. I need to make a quick detour by the great work. We left Graha on the alchemist's care, you see. Best to fetch him before he's crammed into a specimen jar. Oh, yeah, please. Just you and me, then. The guards met at the gate should wave us through. When we delivered Graha to the alchemists, they were not a little excited. Perhaps it was Nidana's rescue that brought them joy, but given their fascination with Astidian, I'm not quite sure. Bear. Run. Save him. Okay. I am going to Razahan, but I don't think I can use the crystal here yet. I'm not sure. I'll try to use it. But we'll see. And I might actually be able to show you guys the secret. Because I'm running low on time. I gotta stop soon, so... Maybe I'll show you the secret instead of continuing the story. Hmm? 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 She's French. Yeah, she's French. Hmm. My roommate's so loud sometimes. I do my best to make it so you can't hear them, though. With the tower gone, I expect that the state of alert will be lifted. Hopefully. Ah, honored scions, you are free to enter at your leisure. As I cannot leave my post, I am afraid you must make your own way. Should you require directions in the city, the sentry stationed at the fountain atop the steps should be glad to assist you. Yes, the secret. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can show you guys the secret. Um, I don't think I can attune to crystals. If I if I do the quest for Sinian, he'll. I have to like start guiding him through the place. That's the only reason why I'm not talking to him first. Oh, I can attune to stuff. Ah. Um. Before I show you the secret, let me try to attune to the main right? If it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me. I'm waiting for it to say it won't let me. Yeah, according to the message on the base, this etherite has been temporarily disabled. I knew it was going to do that. I'm going to run my butt back over here next time. On Friday. Ah, well. Secret time! Because I love these kinds of secrets. <laughs> All right, we're in the city proper. Let me come this way. Keep going. All right, we're on the second level, pretty much. Okay. Now then, we come over here. I need clothes that aren't quite so flowy. Okay. Ta da! It's a jump puzzle! Of course it is. Oops! That should not have happened, but it did, so well. Mm hmm. Mm. 
Oh, the jump bar didn't register on my keyboard. God dang it. I hate when it does this. Thank you, Keys. Very cool. Bruh. Okay. I'm just off of this shit. Ta -da! And we made it. We're on top of the city. Pretty much, anyway. And here's the lookout point. class. I forgot. <laughs> okay. There we go. Give me the lady. Yeah. Uh, Ruva da Fiber's rooftop garden, hidden from view atop the workshops of Ruva. <clears throat> Fiber's is a squat. Golden statue of Gaja. Or of a gaja, sorry. Surrounded by a garden of mulberry bushes. Sitting upon the statue is said to bring good fortune. The proof of which is tested as one wanders about the unfenced rooftop. Ta-da! Nice chill spot. Most people don't come here. Outside of getting, like, the sightseeing log. If they even know about it. Even the copy bar sat on it for a minute. Yeah, here's your little secret. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly, this leads into another one. Or did I have to get there from another means? Can't remember. Oh, you have to get there from a different means. Can I start it from here though? Nope. <laughs> I tried. Ah, I'm a little off. Hold on. Thank you, very cool. My sprint wore off at that moment, skewing my jump a little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The wall's in my way. I hate it here. There we go. And we look out again. Devil secret! Very good. Nidopara Nourishments. Hamsa were originally reared for the sole purpose of harvesting their venom until a breeder by the name of Nidopara devised a technique to remove the creature's toxin glands. The bird suddenly became a valuable source of tender, succulent meat, and before long, Hamsa dishes were considered a staple of Hanish culture. Um, there should be a crystal down there. Yeah.
My roommate and my words are loud as hell today. I don't know what it is. Something about today, I guess. Probably hear my dog barking too. This is a chill city, I like it here. <laughs> Cute little lantern there. Did I already get that crystal? Yes. Okay, please hold. I believe I'm about to get another lookout point, if I remember correctly. There's an if-then statement. Yep, there's one right under me. No! I had a feeling that would happen. Hmm? Hmm. Rivada Fibers. This state-sponsored workshop is famed for producing silk thread of exquisite quality. It's sericulture and weaving techniques were once jealously guarded secrets, but security measures have become lax since Uldah and other nations began manufacturing their own silk fabrics. Ah, uh, this is a f silk f silkworm farm, basically. Um... This will take me back to here, but that's not the direction I want to go in. I like how I can tune to all the etherites except the main one, so there's no real point to me doing it right now, but I'm doing it anyway because then that's less work for me later. Mm hmm. I guess I could have gone to this part either way. I forgot this part didn't connect. I have to wrap around. Over here is the Radiance, um, Radiant Host area. So, you know, the guards, the military, this is where they stay. <laughs> through the markets, through half the markets. I'm surprised there aren't as many people here. I wonder which instance I'm in. 
the major city often. Well, the major important city. For example, Yulemore, where I get my relic, my my tombstones. The same applies here. This is where you get your tombstone gear, so this is the busy place. <clears throat> As such, it has a tendency to be in a different instance, because it is a main place that you have to continuously go to. Too much overload is bad, that means people wouldn't be able to load in to get their weapons and whatnot. Ah, I see. Manderville weapon. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the other side of the market. Oh, and the place that we visited up there is an eatery. It's the inn. Wow, well, there's no real inn here, I guess. It's the tavern, the eatery. This is more of the crafter side of things than the combat, which is the tombstones on the other side of the market. Not custom deliveries, but the other one. Mm. Collectors and stuff. That. This is the alchemist area. The main headquarters, that is. In the main city. Mm, of course, the great work does their own thing, but things are a little more advanced in here. Mm. Much more colorful. Very Willy Wonka. Not gonna lie. Mm. Okay. There's a crystal I need down here. Oh, hi guys! Welcome in! You caught me a little, like a few minutes before I'm ending, actually. I'm just running around a little bit collecting crystals that I need, and then I will be uh, ending stream. Hmm. But tis a pleasure to have you all. Let me get you a shout out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Now you are. Ah, you were playing some Valorant. How were your games? How have I been? Okie dokie. You know me, being as silly as always and all that. Well, everyone, you can call me Honolulu, Hano, Huno, or Lulu. All of them work. I'm a vampire VTuber. I do a bit of variety and a lot of FF14. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. <laughs> uh, I also do a lot of voice acting. So, be prepared, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Welcome in, raiders. I hope the stream was a good one. And how are you all doing? There is a lookout point next to me. I don't remember if I can get back up here if I get it, though. Uh, I don't think I can, so I'm going to get the crystal and I'll come back for it. Aw, thank you, Fairy. How have you been... Oh, there it is. Hmm. This is a housing district. Hmm, not one for us, of course. I am fully attuned to everything but the main shard because I can't unlock that yet. Scree. Hmm. You been okay? Good. Good. I hope things get better. Mm-hmm. Ah, sorry. I'm trying to eat a honey stick thing. It's a very stubborn thing, honey sticks. They're delightful, though. Hmm. And here we are. Mm-hmm. 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 All's a doll's peace. Within this mausoleum is interred the mortal remains of Alzadal, leader of the Ari tribe which sailed to Thavnir from the mainland. By joining the might of his people with the Ark of Sodora, Alzadal tipped the scales against the Gajasura, uh, Gajasura, bringing an end to the Eternacy? Mm, War of the Matanga tribes? Ah, oh, sure. Internishing? It looks like internishing. Boop! Down I go. Ow, those were my ankles. 
Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> all right, I've shown you all secrets. I'm giving you a... Not the best tour. I could have done a better tour of the city. But we did see a bunch of lookout points, which gave you a lot of a lot of good notes. About certain areas in the city and whatnot. So I'd say it's a pretty decent tour for now. Hmm. Oh, I can't walk out there. It's it's a bait. Okay. Wow. I fell for it. Okay. Hmm. Moonlight. Very good. Alright. Oof. Shut down a It's time for me to find someone to raid. Very good. It's that time of the day where I go ahead and I finish up. We have made it into Razatan. We finish up the entirety of the Thafnir quest chain. We finish up the Charlene quest chain, which was only one quest, but that's fine. And we finished in the Dark Tower, which means today we managed 11 quests. There's only two more in this clippet of a section, and then we will go off to another place entirely soon after. We will be in a new zone in one, two, three, four, five, six quests. Very good. But yes, I'm glad you've enjoyed. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for enjoying. I will go into my spiel after I've selected someone to raid. Let us see who there is for today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops. Do I have browser muted? Okay, I do. I do. Ah, c'est la vie, mon ami, c'est la vie. Don't mind me. I'm ruminating. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's playing another Scooby game. You know where we're going. Oh, am I? Ah, not bad. Breaking things. All well, though. All right, we're gonna go and give Nostradamus some love for today. Um, he is playing Scooby Doo: Night of a Hundred Frights, and I love it. <laughs> this brings me much entertainment. So let us be off. Again, thank you to Midnight for the raid. Hmm. Uh, please be sure, raiders, to take care of yourselves as well. I'm gonna start the raid because I'm about to say what I'm about to say anyway. So here we go. Raid start! Alright! I hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you're on the world. Please be sure to hydrate, to eat, to stretch, take vitamins and or medicine, get some sleep if you need to. Uh, please stick around for the raid! You get bonus points for raiding and you also get to witness the amazing Nose VTuber. I'm not joking, he's a nose. He's just a nose. It's amazing. Absolutely wonderful. He's a good bean. Please enjoy. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I will be playing the DLC for a little to the left. And then once that is done, because it's not supposed to be very long, I will switch to Pal World. Yep. Please uh, please look forward to it. Mm -hmm. If you need to know my stream, it is down below. Or my stream schedule is down below. As well as you can find it in the Discord. Please feel free to join. You can also find it on my social... Oh, I typo. My socials. Be I <laughs> can I can I please function? My socials via my card. There we go. I can function on occasion. There we go. <laughs> oh yes, thank you guys for coming. It was a pleasure to see you all. Hmm. 
What am I forgetting? Oh, if you want to support me directly, the Ko-Fi is the best place to do it for donos and slash tips, yada yada. And the throne for stream upgrades and snacks while I'm working here. Yes, yes. Anyway, that should be all. Yes, that is all. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.